Finally, I was, pretty sad. Got... I, was, I was pretty sad that I missed the Saturday game due to a headache, so I'm, I'm ready to go. All right. We're live. Let's begin. Scared. Last That's time. Let the music appropriately, so. Last oh, time. Going south from Idotana City, our heroes stumbled across the wandering Reggie Drago, who they were able to subdue and send back send away before they make their way over to the Chamber of Legends. Upon entering, they found a pedestal where they placed upon it the brass bell that that I was wondering, did the music get already? The brass bell they acquired earlier from a certain dancing band. And with and when that happened, they were transported to some sort of different version of the chamber where they were separated and now must face the three legendary beasts on their own. Individually, Aiden must face Raiko, Travis has to fight Entei, and Cade goes up against Suicune. Let's huh. see how this goes. Ryan is facing the only one who didn't get a movie. Ryan is facing the one that nobody remembers. I did. Uh, no, I did not. I did not. I did not do the the move mechanic revamp. I decided uh, not to not to do it. Oh, also, hang on. <laughs> I forgot to disable this, so I'll disable it afterwards. But first, because somebody redeemed it. We still have two shiny Pokemon waiting for us. Yep. No, shiny. that's a lot of damage. I'm hoping that it feels <laughs> like each each of us gets a shiny. Like I said, I want. Like I said, begin. I am willing to, to forego catching it, but if it's something I really want, I give no promises. That's fine. I, it's not like beating up a shiny gives extra XP. Yeah. Mm, maybe I'll have some reward if you decide to faint a shiny. Funnily enough, in a different game I'm playing, their version of shinies, it's like they they give your party an XP boost if you have them with you. All right. Are you guys ready? We're just going to jump right into this. So, hey, I'm, hey, I'm going to pull you over here. And... So, I'm let's guessing get... we're going to have... I'm guessing let's... we're going to have our three separate battles simultaneously. Yep. And let's get the battle music going. Oh, oh. Travis... Travis takes a step back, nervously, sweating. His, his back presses against the wall. And then he steadies himself, grabs two Pokeballs, looks down the legendary Pokemon and says, You want to see my skill as a trainer? You ask for it. All right. The way we do initiative for this is going to be slightly different. Uh, basically, your two Pokemon, one is going to go before the legendary beast, the other will go after, and we're going to be going in a circle so nobody's waiting an especially long time to get to do their turn. It's going to be roughly even. And if one of your okay. Pokemon faints, then your new Pokemon just takes that initiative slot. So, okay. go ahead and everybody send out what two Pokemon you're starting with. Again. All right. Uh, uh, I think uh, uh, pretty much at, um, it's like at the same time that that's going on with uh, with Travis. Uh, Kay just turns back as he, see, as he sees the... the uh, a sweet concern and uh, 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 setting him down as he gives like a step forward, showing like pretty much that, showing that he wants to battle. And he goes, "All right, if it's a if it's a challenge you want, a challenge you'll get." As as I go, as uh, as he goes ahead and gets two pokeballs and goes and uh, go, Dune, Chomper, come forth. Uh, how much of a leash do we get to summon? Uh. I'll say the usual thirty feet. Okay. Yeah, within thirty feet, like usual. Okay, so flanking the Entei, Travis will summon uh, two of his round boys, Kong and Bahamut. I need to fix Bahamut's HP. I All right. It. So Kong As faces down his. He just has a smile on his face. He's like, "This region has been crazy. I love it." I'm glad, I'm, I'm, glad, I'm glad the stories they told me aren't uh, weren't just one-offs. I love this world. Travis is uh, gonna look back to the other walls real quick, and he's he gonna say, "See you on the other side, guys. I got Ente." Roger that. Be careful when the uh, when it's all, all over. I got Swicun. I got Sparky Boy. 
Of course she says that. that <laughs> you hear a voice from above. That's not its name. No. All right. All right. Uh, so. Glue, is that you? <laughs> All right. Yeah, Travis and Cade, go ahead and roll the initiatives just to see, like, which one's going before and which one's going after. Right. Uh, okay. And uh, right. Aiden, send out whoever you're sending out. I'm, I'm going to. I'm gonna I'm gonna do these three's initiative just to see the order we're going in basically. Bahamut gets an eighteen. And Kong gets a twenty-two. So Kong goes first. Alright. Chomper gets a seventeen. And Okay. Doom. More than likely to go first because he gets a <laughs> 25. Yeah, Dune's first battle is a fly gun. This is, it's kind of funny that it came out this way because uh, I, I rolled and the order we're going in is the Pokedex number, Raikou and a Suicune. <laughs> That's funny! It's <laughs> bold of Jero to throw out his quad weak Pokemon first. Well, Assuming it's, it's a water Daiku. type. Yeah, everything will be fine, right? Well, he also threw out, he threw out the two types who are actually neutral to water damage. All right. I'm just starting off seeing what Entei's going to do first, so. All right. So the way we're going to do this real quick. So uh, Kong got higher. Yep. He got a 22 versus Bahamut's 18. Okay. I'm just going to say, okay, I'm going to put, I'm just going to put Raikou at 15, Entei at 10, Suicune at 5. Okay. So. so bode well. Uh, you, you got dead even, but, uh, Jolteon will, actually, no, uh, Rita, no, 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 Jolteon will go first. Yep, so. And what did you get, Jero? You got 17, which one was the 17 for? 17 was Chomper. I think that's interesting. I got 16 on both, and that technically puts them above Raiko. All right, ba boop That's funny. Oh, wait, why is, oh, oh, he's on I I, I, I I screwed that up. Hang on. Let me just... Uh, I told I did things in the wrong freaking order, because I'm an idiot. Nine. Did, Hang on. Just, just, you... just give me a moment. Just give me a moment. Okay. There we go. For the record, Jero... Why did Jero... you Rita down to 14? Uh, because they're, I'm not using their actual, like, initiative numbers. This is just determining the... Like, which one goes before the beast, which one goes after. Okay. So, you, uh, you you get to go first, but there's always a... You Pokemon, enemy Pokemon, yours again. And then it goes basically to the next the next third, and then the next one, and then back to you. This way it keeps, it keeps things more even about. All right. Then in that case, we're starting off with Layton. Electric versus Electric. What are you doing? All right. Uh Layton's just like, is this what I grew up to be? <laughs> I mean, there is a theory that the legendary beasts are revived versions of the evolutions. So I do like that theory. Anyways, uh, Layton is gonna go like, whoa, and then Aiden, uh, uh, Aiden, uh, Aiden, shouts out, we got this. This is gonna be a test. You can socialize after. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Lane's like, Rrr. and then Rrr. whistles up before unle <laughs> before unleashing a flamethrower. Hopefully. All right. Uh, assuming that doesn't hit. Uh, that's that does not hit. Oh. You do boy. all have inspiration, by the way. I know you have it every time, but I'm just I just saying it every time, just in case. Yeah, because we don't any help. But, uh, okay. Also, I decided to use dark mode for this since it's a boss fight. This is a great start. All right. Uh, and then he's going to hop back over here. All right. Raiko. Raiko is going to uh, step forward. As it begins to tower over Layton. Oh just boy. Not even going up to him, but still just towering. As uh 
Actually, you know what? Yeah, no, it is going to step all the way up. Uh, it is going to come in, opening its mouth wide as it chomps down on you with its fangs for a hard crunch attack. That is a... a that is a 17 to hit, physical. Yeah. All right. That is 16 damage. Well, it would, right. have been, would have been worse against Rita, so not too bad. All right. And it's Rita's turn. All right. Uh, did I finish signing her things? In that case, Rita. Double checking something. Okay. Is going to move over here and is going to wave her big wand as she's going to attempt to use mystical fire and I do get flanking oh, All right. that's enough oh. okay that makes up for the miss yeah that, got a crit oh, yeah. nice what level is Rita is she only seven she's seven yeah okay so the stab is correct. So that's 33 fire damage and burning. Uh, well, not, uh, oh, this not burning. Hurt. It's it's a minus penalty to special attack damage. It should be minus. Which, uh, it should be minus two. Ah, uh, right. This is before all that. Yeah. Some so, some some of the things I forgot to update, but yeah. So that's a minus two to special attack damage. So, yeah, so I'm hope I, I was hoping to get that off early in the fight. Makes sense. I'm expecting a prolonged battle, so that's why I have Khan going out first. Yeah, that's why I'm trying to set up a lot of debuffs. Although, these might have that legendary thing where, like, and now I am not debuffed. <laughs> <laughs> Which is like legendary resistance in that it's a middle finger, but it makes sense. <laughs> God, there are so many things. Uh, okay, it's less special damage. God, there, there are just not enough icons. <laughs> Cause I need I, does does more physical damage, does less physical damage, takes more physical damage, takes less physical damage, and the same thing for special. I know if you have your own, I know if you have like one of the specialty roll, in roll twenty accounts, you can add in your own icons. Yeah. Uh. Okay, I think that will be it. Okay. Uh, so how much damage was that? That was thirty-three. Thirty-three. Okay. It's a good start. Well, it's a good second step. The start was meh. <laughs> well, you got a crit. You got a crit on your stab move, so hey, makes up for yeah. it. Yeah. All right, Kong. All right, Kong. In his first ever, well, in a, a more personal battle with a legendary than the Reggie Drago fight. This time, it's not a whole crowd beating up on one guy. It's just them versus this huge volcanic beast. And he's going to form a fist. And being that he's much smaller than this large dog, he's going to try to get under it and smash its ribs as he uses Rock Smash. I think you mean Rib Smash? All right. That does not hit. Mm, I'm, I'm sensing a trend. <laughs> all right, I'm just going to leave it. You'll crit next. <laughs> we'll see. I wanted Rock Smash to go off because all of my Pokemon are physical attackers. You'll get more chances. All right, Entei. Yeah, Kong, Kong's bulky, it's fine. All right, uh, Entei is going to... Uh, yeah, he's going to he's gonna turn around since uh, Kong went for a hit. He was able to step out of the way. He's going to turn, directing his attention towards Kong. As he, like Raiko, opens his mouth, but he's coming in with his teeth burning as he goes in for a fire fang. Okay. And I'm the one who crits! Oh boy! <laughs> Great. Uh, okay, that is not resisted or anything, so that's do do do. Neutral damage, no yep. so you, fire, I guess. You take I 29 guess. damage and must roll a d10. It right. wasn't a one. All right, you're good. Bahamut. All right. Uh, 
How do Rock Smash and Leer pair together if I were to use both? Can I get it up to a minus 12? You could theoretically get it up as high as you want as long as you're willing to devote all your turns to that. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna have Bahamut dare down Entei and see through its defenses as it uses Leer, making so Entei will permanently take plus two to all physical hits. All right. Bahama got that glare going on. All right. Dune. First, considering uh, how uh, its ability, we will be starting off with, with, it, with there being a sandstorm. All right. So. In, in sandstorm. Yep. So the sandstorm is limited to your area. It does not affect the other two. Oh, I yeah. just realized I had blanking on Kong's hit. Did that matter at all? 17? Uh... No, it still would have missed. Okay. Okay. Dune to be able to start uh, uh, again. Uh, obviously, seeing the, the opponent, who the opponent is, they both get uh, worried. But I, I just would like a like uh, like a handle on going. This again. We'll, we'll make it do this. Just do. Uh, uh, just, just do your best, and we and I and I know we can, and we can we can get we can get it done. At, and that they both does not, and Dune goes, as he sets up the sandstorm, flies up, a, uh, uh, up into the sky to get a good, uh, a good, uh, a good vantage point to be able to, to, to get, to be able to hit Suicune while still keeping a good distance away to see what it, what gets it, um, what, what, what it can do. As he goes ahead and prepares, it, uh, and sets, uh, sets himself up with a lock, uh, with a laser focus. Focus. All right, how high in the air are you? I'd say we can... How high is this room? Is a good question. I think it's a better, it's a better point. Uh, when you look up, you can't really see a roof. At about 50 feet up, it seems to turn into fog. Uh, well, not well, not going to go that far. I'd say at uh, uh, most, maybe... We can... Put the main to four. Hold on. Uh, for the record, Jarrah, I would have given you back your life orb after we beat Valkyrie. Oh, um, I don't think I would have used, uh, uh, I would have used, used it on, uh, uh, on this, but, uh, but thanks. I then I would have given me back to my slashes, too. <laughs> You're just, like, trading items through the wall real quick. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so how high in the air are you? Uh, uh, about, like, 15 feet. Uh, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a 20. <laughs> Cause I can't do 1.5. All right. All right. The locked on Suicune uh, is going to see you flying up into the air, and it is going to it, the, it's the tassels and ribbons that seem to be flowing from it start to glow as the sandstorm fades away, and it starts to rain instead. Oh, rain dance. Clever. Now it is raining. Uh, and then it is oh. going to look up at Dune, and it is going to focus its energy as it begins charging up something in its mouth for launching a hydro pump. Oh. Oh, so not rain dance, just an ability it has. No, they it did use rain dance. I should, I'll, 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 I'll say this. They all have the trait pressure. You can use two actions on your turn. Only one of these actions can be a move that deals damage. Interesting. Oh. Ooh, so that's how you, how you changed it up. Yeah. All, all right. right, that is a... Oh, that is a 25 to hit special. Ooh, oh. I'm pretty sure that hits. Quick yeah. Flygon, cast shield. Well, <laughs> Flygon is neutral to water damage, and yep. it's going to be buffed up by the rain. Yeah, yeah. it's, uh, thinking, yeah, six, yeah, it has 16, so yeah, that hits. All right. What uh, if we end up deciding for the weather die? Uh. Is it still just a D4? It is, it is now stab dice instead. Okay. Just because that that just because otherwise it eventually rain would just be pointless if it's just a D four. All right, 
So, I'll throw in another one of these. Okay, so, adding in those Dimaggios. The Dimaggios are working against you now. How dare you. Uh, that is 37 damage. Ooh. That was, however, it's only Hydro Pump. Oh, that's okay. something I, I was about to say, probably can't do many of those. Yeah, things like, like Hydro Pump and those other, like, really big, low accuracy moves only have one use. But, damn, the damage is, uh, is high. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Fun uh, fact, it got maximum on one of the damage dice and minimum on the other. <laughs> I'm expecting some in, the, in the future, I'm expecting Fire Blast and Thunder. Yeah. Chomper. And with, uh, with it going, uh, with that going on, focusing on that, Chomper is going to, uh, is going to run up so he's right behind Suicune. Well, hopefully getting flanking. Is that flanking? Or, that, or do you know it more? Uh, you need to be, you would need to be directly behind it. Oh, Again? wait, uh, uh, you also would not have flanking from Dune right now. Oh, Dune because it's flanking. Yeah, the, basically, uh, you get flanking from a distance if something is there. You don't give flanking from a distance. Okay. So, for example, looking over at... at wait, never mind, you can't see Rhino's thing. <laughs> if, if you are at range, you could use flanking. You cannot grant flanking. Yes. Okay, fair enough. So if you were to move like here, you would give flanking to Dune's next uh, next move, but you don't get flanking to your current one. This okay. is where Jer this is where Jero shows off the Chomper and his Thunder Fang. <laughs> Funny enough, <laughs> um, can Dune will at least get behind it to be able to uh, will give Dune flanking at the very least, but will actually help out too, uh, um, because and, and this it despite the the. The rain making Chomper still goes on as he as he gets behind Suicune and, and opens his mouth and sparks start to uh, 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 sparks start to come out as they go not uh, uh, making, uh, as they almost because of the rain it almost seems like they're surround they, they came in a sense coating him in, in electricity for a bit as he bites da down on on Suicune for a thunder fang. All right. Okay. Let's see it. 17. That does not hit. Jesus Christ, dude, we all missed an attack in our opening rounds. Suicune is the defensive one of the three. That is true. Shoot. Ah, do I want to... It's only 13 damage. Uh, yeah, I guess. Alright. Alright. Yeah, I guess we just say that because of the rain, he, uh, like he was able to aim it correctly, so, he, so the Thunder Fang misses. Yep. All right. Uh, back over to Layton. All right. Layton, now up close to this thing, is now crouching down as it's looming over him, before suddenly he spins around and kicks up with his back feet as he uses Sand Attack. You are blinded. Blind. You bitch! Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! You're blue now. That's my attack. <laughs> You're be, blind and, now. That's my attack. <laughs> and, beca and because it's blinded, you can run away for free. You're right. I can. Get out, ye old ruler. Is it, is it, the sand gets in the eyes and it shuts its eyes, waving its head around like, like you know, when an animal does that when its eyes close. <laughs> like, like, ah, the fuck? <laughs> Prove your strength. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> skitter, skitter, skitter. <laughs> I am small, and thus I must take any advantage of this fight I can. <laughs> Fair. All right. Raiko. Uh, let's see. Blind. Uh, at the end of its turns, it gets to roll the d4. So for now, it does not. Uh, so instead, it is going to... It is going to concentrate as it... As it tries to... Uh, as it tries to sense where uh, where its opponents are. Going, going for something that it would not have to rely on its sight for. As... As it is going to suddenly fire just a sphere of energy directly at Rita 
as it uses Aura Sphere. Well, you're gonna resist it. That, it, yeah, and, and it, the attack always hits, so with the resi- oh, okay. I will close that sheet then. <laughs> so with the resistance, so minus that. So you resist fighting once, so that is 17 damage. Alrighty. All right, and now, uh, still blinded. Okay, get him back. I will do. I will. I will do so. By the way, what was the range on Aura Sphere? The range on Aura Sphere? Uh, you don't know. It's th it's thirty feet, so he would have moved first. Okay. The, but he went after Rita because, he, like, he knows roughly where Rita is. He just goes late and ran away. <laughs> That's fair enough. But now, seeing as uh, Leighton set her up, Rita is now going to do another mystical fire at advantage. Advantagios! Yes, it's Does... the offshoot. Doesn't roll off the tongue as well. <laughs> it's it's like it's like it, oh, uh, twenty-two, and that's special. Uh, correct. That barely hits. Oh shit. Oh my god. Alright, noted. Uh, 17 fire damage, and you now get an additional minus 2 to your special attack damage. Well, that basically gives you a 50-50 to hit it, because that was a 10. Yep. Oh, actually, give uh, give Rita two more health. I forgot to apply that negative thing to special uh, damage, because Aura, Aura Sphere is special. It's fighting, so I forgot that. <laughs> it's special fighting. <laughs> There's like two of those. <laughs> Alright. Yep. And then... Rita is gonna go. Uh, yeah, I think down it's, here. Like, it's like that on focus blast, right? Yeah, there might be another one, but all right. Move that always hits versus move that never hits. Kong. All right, Kong. He, he has a few singes on his beard. And he just pushes them out with his hand, and then now. <laughs> pissed off that Entei would dare strike and such, is going to form another fist, and is going to go for a strike to his chest with another rock smash! 22? Uh, Actually, uh, 24. Oh, yep, yeah, that hits! That is 26 total damage from the Leer, and Entei now has a permanent minus 4 from all physical attacks. Alright, so that goes boop. Alright, nice. All right, Entei, now. Uh, uh, is going to, uh, yeah, might as well do this. It's going, uh, as Entei is going to uh, begin pawing at the ground as it starts trying to get its footing better. Getting a, getting a layout of the room as it uses, essentially uses agility so its movement speed is increased by 10 feet. Okay. Or no, that'd be two. Oh no, he's getting the zoomies. <laughs> yeah, I had to find some way to explain why how Entei would use agility without just trotting in place. <laughs> you see him like vibrating. <laughs> uh, and then... I feel the need, the need for zoom. Now that, now that he's uh, sped himself up, he rears back and slams it down on the ground as he uses bulldoze. Okay. Good, I thought it was going to be earthquake. That, that's neutral Shit. damage to both my Pokemon. Yep, it's a 28 to hit. Hits both. Oof, it rolled good. That is 31 damage to both of you. Dude, I already have half my team weak to this thing. Well, if you run out of ground moves... In general, like the 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 the, the idea here is bearing mind you have a full team against one thing. I that's, know that's kind of that's kind of what I what I went for here. But I also got crit, and this did more damage than that crit. Well, use your tactics. It rolled good. All right, wait, hang on. I just realized something. Search your moves. Ah, I, was surprised I realized why I did more damage than it should have. I accidentally gave it stab. Hang on. <laughs> take a, it, 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 take 12 away from that. <laughs> okay. 12 for stab. Jeez. 
it rolled maximum on it, and yeah. <laughs> Ah, uh, legendary stab. That seemed weird for Bulldoze to do that much when it's yeah, it was, yeah, even I was wondering about that. Like, that that seems odd. But yeah, no. Crit, that, didn't, that didn't sound right. Yeah, like, how did People, a crit fire thing do less is than the that? Fireball Pokemon. Yeah, that explains why. It just rolled really high, and it had stab that it shouldn't have had. That was my bad. Okay. But yeah, all right. So yeah, get, okay. give them back those, that 12 HP, and it's Bahamut's turn. All right. Now that Entei's been softened up a little bit, it's going to form some energy in one of its stubby little front legs as it's going to go for a dragon claw. Elsewhere in the room, Kate is just like, what? I hear dragon things. <laughs> 18. That does not hit. Yeah, that's, I'm, I'm not in for a good session. I can feel it. Yeah, sorry, you man. Dude. You're in danger. In any case... Uh, uh, Dune see, uh, Dune being able to still, uh, uh, to still be able to see Suicune due to his special eyes, with the, despite the rain. <laughs> um, as the long one prepared, as it opens his, um, his mouth, as as dragon energies to get gathers in, as he goes to, uh, as he goes and and go, as he charges it up and then fires, showing a. Uh, uh, a breath of blue, f uh, uh, of blue flame with Suicune as he goes to hit him with a dragon breath. All right, you have flanking, and if this hits, it's an auto crit because of laser focus. <gasps> oh, okay. Uh, I'm doing the reroll for that. <laughs> you only have a plus three to hit. Ouch. Yeah, it's special and flying onto physical. All right, inspiration. Okay, please hit. Oh. 19? I don't know. That does not hit. Wait, no, that would be 20, wouldn't it? Because it's 3 of the flanking. It's plus 2 for the flanking, flanking, but it's plus 2 for flanking, but either way, it doesn't hit. A 22, really? a, a 22 missed Raikou. Did you miss that? No, a 22 barely hit Raikou. Yeah. All oh, right. So, yeah, I don't think I don't think you usually expect Dragon Breast to hit. It's all right. You're learning. You're learning. Alright. I did it with something else, god damn it. That, I mean, look, maybe it'll be easier to hit him with physical. That does use up the laser focus. I know, which is which, and, and pretty much he's now just a sitting duck now. Uh, Come on, guys, we got this. Embrace your test. Going to. He's going. Uh, uh, Suicune is going to. Uh, kind of divert its attention over to Chomper here. Oh boy. As it's gonna. Is going to. Hold it. It's going to like stand up straight, closing its eyes as it focuses for a moment using Calm Mind. Uh oh. So it will do more damage with special attacks and take less damage from special attacks. The buffs, they begin. Shit. And then after doing that, it opens its eyes. And... Uses its laser eyes. <laughs> it <doesn't> use clear. <laughs> Remember that from Gen 2? <laughs> yeah! Best move. All right. It's going to... Start summoning the rain to form in a, in a almost a whirlpool around itself before sweeping out as it's going to use surf. It only uh -oh. hits Chomper. Uh, neutral damage. Never mind, it does not hit Chomper. Oh, there you <laughs> go. <laughs> yes. Finally, finally a lucky break. All right. Neutrality. Hey, Chomper, it's your turn now. As the the water comes out, Chomper is able to jump over it like in that one Mario Party minigame. <laughs> And, and as it does, it has it, his mouth charged up with electricity uh, uh, again as it tries to go for another bite as it go uh, as it goes for like a jumping bite onto uh, onto Suicune's head. All right. Well, like, pretty, rest much, might say. pretty much imagine like it looks at the thing just think shiny. <laughs> Come on. No. Physical. Oh shit. Oh man. I haven't hit anything on this thing. Layton. 
I, I briefly was like, where the hell are you? Because I just pan over and I will be see Raiko. <laughs> Layton is going to check the range on his move. <laughs> Layton takes out a Layton. clipboard. <laughs> yeah, Layton takes out a clipboard. What are my stats? <laughs> <laughs> he takes out his own character sheet. <laughs> All right, Layton is going to go over here. He's going to line it up. And he is going to unleash another flamethrower with Advantigers. With Advantigers. Advantigers? Advantigers. <laughs> All right. He has a bit less than a 50% chance to hit, so we'll see. No. Nope, it does not hit. All right. Well, it was worth a shot. All right. Right. So bearing in mind, it's going to be harder to hit. Uh, Layton is actually going to uh, go over here and get close to Raiko. Uh, I'm dipping and dodging with that flanking. All right. Raiko is going to... Sparks are going to flicker off of Raiko as it begins to charge its energy. Uh-oh. So it now takes... Uh, Two less damage from special attacks, so that just becomes a two instead of the four. Wait, no, that's damage it deals. No, yeah, that was damage dealt. This is damage taken. Right. Uh, again, not nearly enough shit <laughs> to work with. Yeah, this is why you need colored rings. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I could say that and... Actually, question. What? Oh, wait, no, that wouldn't help. Never mind. Okay, so it, it, it it's sorry. Let me let me just double check this. It takes two less less damage from okay from special attacks. So yeah, this is fine. That is okay. what that is, and basically that lasts until it uses an electric move. Its next electric move gets double damage dice. Oh, is that all? Well, that's what charge does. All right, okay. and now. It's still blinded. Yep, and now it is going to. Uh, sensing that Jolteon has come close. Uh, he's, like, it, he's like poking him in the back leg, like, like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to, uh, at disadvantage because it's blinded, uh, it is going to try to, uh, try to bite, uh, it, you know what, no, it already has disadvantage, so it's going to try to unleash a thunderbolt at Jolt, at, at Layton. Okay. Uh, 19 to hit, special? Yeah, yes, that does hit. Okay. Well, Luckily, I resist this, but it does have double dice damage, so... Eh. So I guess it's more or less... Between that and the stab, I feel like this is going to hurt a decent amount. Okay, so basically... That just becomes that. That becomes, uh, 28 damage. Ouchies. And it's, uh, it's, it's special defense uh, buff is gone now. And you must roll a d10 on a one. You are paralyzed. Uh, okay. Oh, the d10s. Okay. No, you're good. All right. I, I, I'm scared of d10s. <laughs> <laughs> I, I will impose fears upon you. Rita. Oh, you're already doing okay. so. <laughs> All right, Rita is going to approach. Just wait till you meet the ghost type expert. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, he's, he's, he's in your party. <laughs> yeah, and is going to use her last mystical fire with advantageous. Oh, actually, hang on. Before you do that, I actually forgot to roll D4 to see if. Nope, he is nope. still he is still blinded for one more turn. Okay. Hooray, sand attack. <laughs> you were just gonna say hooray, Santa. <laughs> Hooray uh, him too. <laughs> Anyways, fire! But what you said, Megan, I there you go. Megan, in the words of a, uh, of a certain uh, uh, of a certain world witch, I respect your cunning, but I also hate you for it. <laughs> yeah. I need to add that to my soundboard. Remind me to do that. All right. Anyway, I will. All right, that was the last one, and oh, it did hit. I'm a fucking idiot. I keep forgetting to apply that because I keep thinking that's defense. Jolteon takes four less damage from the thing that hit it. Cause, okay. Because it was special. I. 
I keep thinking no worries, that special dude. defense. No worries. No worries. <laughs> Was it minus uh, four or just or just minus two? Minus just four. This point. Minus four because actually, it, it it's it's a minus two that has happened twice. Uh, minus, actually, it's but, happened three times now, so now it's minus six. Yeah, I thought yep. I thought your second mystical fire missed. Uh, no, it barely hit. No, no, okay. it barely hit. Yeah, it, it was it was that was the twenty two, and I will say okay. when it bar when I say it barely hit that its AC is not twenty two, it was just very close. Oh, okay. okay. So I'll okay. throw that out there, but because okay. I, I know I usually use that to mean that. All right. Raikou, well, or, uh, 20, 25 fire damage. Raikou oh. is easily taking the most damage. Yeah. Vers versus Entei getting hit once and Suicune nothing. All right. Use your, yeah. use your tactics, my dudes. I looked up and I was like, oh, right, sand attacks a thing. My tactic was to hit it really hard. <laughs> and, I, and, I, and, I, and, I, and I was trying to go for the lock on with the thing, the power, the power, the power to go for the paralyze. Yeah, I'll, I'll, yeah. I'll, 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 I'll admit, uh, Jero, you, you, you're up against uh, a defense tank. Right here, <laughs> bit of a short stick. Ugh. Yeah, but like Quick it's other stick. It's, Maybe it'll go it's, after it. It's other. It's other stats are are lower though. So. Yeah, but I make it harder to hit, which is the, is the annoying part. So, yeah. So it's, it might be lower, but it's not gonna be worth anything if I can't hit it. Well, but at least I, you know. Easy, at, least you know at, at least you know. At least you know at this point, Dragon Breath is just a no go. Yeah. In general, and this is this is how their engage stats are normally. Uh. Raikou is special focused, both in attack and defense. Entei is physical focused, and then Suicune is defensive. Entei also has more HP, and, and Raikou has more speed. So, okay. Yeah. All right. You got this, bro. You got this. All right, All right. Kong. Now that Kong has uh, been hit twice uh, by Entei. Uh, so, uh, so, no, don't worry, I'm not actually like, for, like legit, man. I'm just a little frustrated that I've had to be able to get any hits so far. I getcha. Now that uh, Kong has been struck twice by Entei, he gets his footing back from the ground being shaken as he channels ghostly energy into his fists, and he's going to go for a rage fist against Entei. Ooh, all right. Uh, 29. Yeah, that'll hit. That'll hit. <laughs> I, get, I get to add an extra 2d6 because of the getting hit twice. Oh, Whoa! Baby. That is 33 ghost damage to Entei. Yeah, because counting, so. counting the counting the lower, no, the lower, it has lower defense. Oh, oh wait, uh, 30, uh, that was It's twenty. It's, tw it's 21 30. plus the 12 for 33, then the four, 37. 37 ghost damage to Entei. Boom, that's a, that's a big hit right there. As a, as a big wave of ghostly energy releases from Kong's fist, Washing over Entei and scratching him up all over. All right. Uh. Hmm. <laughs> now that's a lot of Dimaggios. <laughs> all right. I was literally about to say I don't like that. But that, that's just me deciding what Entei's gonna do. Don't worry. Uh, Entei is going to. Uh. Yeah, it's gonna go for bulldoze again, cause it's it's okay. got it's got two things right next to it. Fair enough. Uh, any time now, game. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, sixteen physical to hit. That misses both. Their bases are eighteen and nineteen. Ooh, okay. It it does it again. They saw it coming and were able to hop over it. Bahamut like barely goes off the ground, but it still works. <laughs> yep. Nice, nice. Okay. Now that Bahamut is seeing things working out a little bit better, he is going to uh try again with a dragon claw on Entei's backside. Alright. Come on, buddy. Ass. 23? That hits. All right, so that is a total of 29 dragon damage from the cumulative minus defense effects. All right. Very nice. So after Entei drops its legs on the ground, shaking up, Bahamut jumps into the air, focuses energy into its claw, and hits Entei right into the soft of its back between the folds of its... I don't know what you would call that on its back. Uh... The spikes? Because, because Raikou has a cloud and Suicune has like a water trail. I think they're all just, just main. I think it's like a, I think it's meant to be like a smoke trail. Okay, so yeah. Basically, it more or less hits Entei right in the spine in the center of its back with a dragon claw. 
<sighs> Let's out a roar. Now he, his, uh, his focus has changed. Doom. Come on, doggy. Come on, doggy. Get the ball. <laughs> All right, Dune. Yeah. Well, we can't... <laughs> Sweet good day. Shut up, old man. We can... Well, we kind of have to let him be able to still, to still get the benefit from that, uh, 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 from that rain dance. So, mm -hmm. it's going to be boosting a lot of its, uh, a lot of its stuff because it's going to make it more annoying. So, again, well, it depends. Well, it won't be able to get the much of the benefit from the. Uh, from the it losing the uh, what's it called? Losing the, the sandstorm. No, no, it won't get much benefit from losing the uh, the freaking ah, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? The, the disadvantage on 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 uh, on, on, on like distant stuff. Like it, it will at the very least take away the water buff, which is gonna which is helping Secret more. So, Dune will uh, will make the. Uh, we'll make it go away as he does as he goes for a sandstorm to make the, to to take away the uh, uh, the rain dance. All right, as the the rain kind of fades away and is replaced by uh, streaming sand once again. Sand, rain, sand, rain. Life, death, life, death. And and to be able to uh, and because it's gonna be moving to more offensive stuff. Dune will, will actually land, uh, land, so he's uh, so he's a bit behind uh, Suicune, which I'm uh, considering doing that should be it could uh, give uh, Chopper advantage, I think. Well, flanking, uh, not advantage. Sorry. Remind me, does does weather damage start on the first at the start of your turn or end of it? Uh, it's at the it's at the end of the turn is how I do it. Okay, okay. All right, Suicune is well uh it used up its one rain dance uh, nice. well fuck <laughs> <laughs> okay so it used so it used up one of its strongest water moves and rain dance okay that makes you feel a little better then <laughs> now is when it brings out the ice moves <laughs> yeah oh, <laughs> yes actually because it, it turns towards uh the threat that it is determined dune is and is going to Try to bite at your tail. Its its teeth crystallizing over with ice. As it goes for an ice fang that is a nat one. Thank wow. God. We could got two nat ones in a row. Yes, yeah, we could. Is a uh, we could not doing so good. He hasn't been hit yet, so that's one thing. Yeah, true. All right. So, uh. All right. So the sandstorm, the automatic damage is still just going to be one d four. Because all right, so Suicune is. I'll, I'll take the chip damage. Yeah, that's. Yeah, that seems fine when it also has the minus to range attacks thing. Yeah. All right, Suicune finally took some damage. Chomper. With the, with flanking now being a thing. It... Uh, and already to be able to help with the, with the, with, the, with getting the attack, uh, uh, we're gonna go for one. More, uh, we're gonna go for an, uh, another Thunderfang. For the love of God, please hit. You the Thunderfang. Come on. No. Come on. No, it does not hit. <laughs> I, res I, re I respect your dedication, <laughs> but it does not hit. Sweetie, you're killing me here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We could. I wish I was killing you, but I also miss. Right. <laughs> Back over to Layton. All uh, right. Uh, well, seeing as it's still blinded, Layton is going to yoink itself away and start running in small little circles as it uh, attempts flamethrower again. Only got a couple more of these. Figure might as well try it while I still got those advent advent tigers. <laughs> Advent Dimaggio's and Advent Tigers. I, I love this. 28. Oh, yeah, that hits. And I get even burns. Yeah, roll for uh. burn. 
Burning! Ooh. Ooh. All right, so first off, 18 damage. So that is... Burn is not as OP as it used to be, though. Yeah, it still hurts. Uh, Sorry, I'm, 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 I'm having... Right, I keep forgetting I can just do that. There we go. All right, uh, so it is burned, and the burn is permanent without items to fix it. So, or yeah. legendary stuff. So, one yeah. before end of each of its turns, and four less damage with physical attacks. Which is separate from stat adjustments. Yep. All right. Somebody's going to have to remember that, I guess. All right, it's Raiko's turn. It's blind for uh, this. Late, huh? uh, late uh, closes again. Okay. Uh, Raiko is still blind for this turn, but then the blindness will wear off. Uh, All right. That's when Rhino reapplies it next round. Shh. <laughs> Since you decided to go for a... Uh, a... Uh, yeah. Since you decided to go for a, a status, so is Raiko. As Raiko's energy, that the, the electric energy suddenly jumps to Layton and starts locking your muscles in place from a thunder wave. So now I had to roll. Oh, right, yeah. Uh, you yeah, was remember you made these not automatic. Right, yep. Uh, D4, on a one or two, you're paralyzed. All right, here we go. Paralyzed. Yeah. You are paralyzed, because you I seem to be struck by lightning. All paralyzed. All right. By lightning. <laughs> as, he, as he now finally is able to wipe the sand out of his eyes and focus. Rita. Uh, All right. Wasn't that wasn't that one non-damage move? Doesn't he get another? I mean, if he chose not to do it, I wasn't going to argue. Uh. Because you said that. Yeah, get yeah. I'm going to say. New damage. I'm going to say he, he he wouldn't do anything else because he doesn't fully know where people are because he's blinded. All right. Now, uh, now so his blindness is over, but now for fire damage. Yeah. Uh. So. All right. right. Yeah, one. <laughs> yes! <laughs> All right, Rita. All right. I like Rita how the one did. that applied the bird was not the fire type. <laughs> Fuck <I know>. enough! <laughs> All right, uh, seeing as uh, that uh, particular advantage they had is gone now, but a different one has popped up, Rita's going to go like, All right, let's try something then as she is going to wave her wand and the fire is actually going to go out as the other end lights up with a pink light and she uses Psy Shock. Ooh, all right. She uses defense instead of special defense, which I'm hoping is worse on this guy. Oh, wait, that should have been an advantage, but 15. Well, it misses anyway. Uh, you have oh, wait, flanking. 17, actually. You have flanking, so it hits. Hooray! Oh, his, wow. physical defense, his physical defense is 16. <laughs> Hooray, flanking. Meanwhile, I'm here molding. No, no I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, right. well, unfortunately for Rhino, majority of his team is special attackers. Yeah, and yep, then Entei well. has the physical defense, and your team is majorly physical attackers. Look, I'm all right. <laughs> I, I didn't know that Raikou was a special one. I just started out with the def, with the stat debuff, and it turns out I chose right. I'm yeah. fine. All right. I'm, I'm learning to work with what I got here. Anyway, so 19 psychic damage as she goes woogity woogity woo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, no, not woogity woogity woo. That's my weakness. <laughs> Aha! Uh -huh. Anyways, I'm way over here now. <laughs> Kong! Alright. Kong is starting to feel himself, and he's gonna... <laughs> Not in public! He's gonna, he's gonna start dancing back and forth. He's gonna take up a boxing stance and start ba dancing back and forth on his feet. And as he shimmies back and forth, he's gonna let out a flurry of punches as he goes for close combat. Alright! He took a level at Monk for a second there. Uh, Ooh, 32. yeah, that's gonna hit. <laughs> all right. So I with every am. with everything, uh, that's all correct. That is thirty-two plus four for thirty-six fighting damage, and Kong now takes a permanent plus two from all damage sources. All right, let me pop that on then. As you have that, and I still don't and know. Just just, just for the sake of it, Kong is going to move up a little bit just to get some movement in on my side of the field. All right. Uh, Entei. Uh, before it's Entei's turn quite yet, 
Uh, he's going to look away his head and go. Ooh. And a volcano explodes. <laughs> First whale lord? <laughs> Fucking rhino! <laughs> <laughs> as from the as as seeming to float out of the ground. Huh? Huh? Do you use a stealth rock? An unknown. Too what? unknown. As, oh, yes, that's. As you you have reduced Ente below half health. Oh. oh, he's at phase two. Oh, when they start getting hurt, they summon unknown to back them up. Ah, well, good to know I'm not halfway there yet. I thought I was doing decent damage. <laughs> I will say you're very close. You are you are actually very close. Fair enough. <laughs> you're less than ten HP off. <laughs> and just oh. for, well, hmm. So one of these unknown is an L, I think, and the other is an E. Ah, don't let the L go on your forehead. <laughs> then you'll become Luigi. <laughs> All right. That's not so bad. All right. Now the unknown all go uh, their 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 turn is at the start of initiative. So for now they do not do anything. Okay. So now it's Entei's actual only turn. Only things where they can spell something. <laughs> uh, as Entei is going to, uh, seeing that Kong has just kind of left himself open after that flurry of blows, he is going to duck his head down. And is going to quack. what? I say quack. <laughs> Rhino, you lose your inspiration. Anyway, I'm, I'm sorry. No, no, no. You, you're fine. You're fine. <laughs> uh, Ed Day lowers his head. Is going to slam into Kong with an Iron Head attack. Okay. As all right, I'm pretty sure 25 hits. It does. All right. So that yes. is Kong has no one way or the other with steel type moves. All right. So with the lower defense that you have, that is a total of twenty three damage. All right. Uh, and having done that, he is actually going to turn and is going to open his mouth as smoke pours out, and he uses smoke screen on Bahamut, which blinds it. Ah oh, damn! When I got when I caught this thing, it was immune to being blind, and then I changed it. <laughs> full, 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 full. All right. I know. If you guys want me to stop quipping, I will. No, you're you're fine. You're fine. Yeah, you're fine. <laughs> that was just my counter quip. Uh, All right. All right, Bahamut. It is your turn. At the end of your turn, you can roll to get rid of the blindness. But for now. Okay. Bahamut is going to. Well. I don't really trust it to be able to hit with blindness, so it is going to use Protect on this turn. Ah, alright. So, it might be blind, but Entei's not going to be able to hit it next round. Or for this round. Alright, go ahead and roll that d4. Alright. The Four. blindness instantly goes away! Alright, so he, he, he curls up his little feet into his shell and becomes just a ball of defensiveness and as he feels safe inside he, he opens up his eyes and he blinks a bit and he's like oh wait I can't see <laughs> I, oh he, I just closed my eyes place. <laughs> and I am going to have him move here and that's my turn and I'm going to go to the bathroom because I've been holding it for a while I All right. I installed these windshield wipers in my shell <laughs> <Dude>. <laughs> <laughs> whoop, whoop. Wait, what? What detergent did I use to spray that? <laughs> All right, Dune. Megan, I'm to sing the Dune song. <laughs> Say that it has to try that. It has to pretty much go that again. That hopefully it's not like at least like at least some damage. Dune, and also and uh, also because it tried to hit him with the with the. Um, with the ice fang, Dune is gonna try to, uh, um, is gonna just go on the uh, uh, on the physical offensive and try to hit, uh, and, it's, and as it's as like with this, like, Suikun, despite everything, just sees like a looming, uh, 
a, a, a faint shadow of because of the, because of the sandstorm as it just charges up with uh, a with dragon energy in its claw as it goes for a dragon claw straight uh, uh, straight in its face. All right. Uh. Okay. Yeah. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I know how you feel, Jero. I can say that for sure. Suicune. I had one good battle before going back to this shit. Uh, Suicune is going to... First thing it's going to do... Uh, it's I'm going sorry, to... I'm sorry, the fact that we were doing fun with the Veggie Drago and then this shit right after the whole gym thing, I'm a little frustrated, sorry. I, I get ya, I get ya. Alright. It's these awkward middle levels. Alright, Suicune is going to face Dune, who has been uh, kind of a pain with that sandstorm. Uh, and it's also... And a gif everywhere, and I hate it. <laughs> Suicune is going to open its mouth. Ooh. Wait, what? Forest Whale Lord? Rhino! I'm sorry. I'll as... do it one more time. Don't, do it during the same. don't repeat the same one. As it is going, as it, that is its equivalent of using roar. You, oh. you must recall Dune and swap in something else. Oh. Which also, I believe, let me double check. If weather is caused by weather, it... okay. The weather does not go away, but this means it, it, it will end after the three turns, and you can't, uh, you, can, you, you can't. It's it's basically thinking, let's make it so you can't put that back. Fair. So go ahead and uh, go ahead and swap that out. I will quickly uh, just make a quick note here. Two, I'm... there are two turns of sandstorm. Good question, Max. Yeah. Does the does an ability where it summons a weather effect when you first enter the battle not proc every time you come out? Uh, it, sure, we did set that up. Hmm, that's true. What do you Wait, guys? Dude, what, do you, what, do you, what do you? Guys, <laughs> what do you guys? What do you guys think? Max, give me something here. I've got no. no uh, this is why I'm asking you guys. What do you guys think would be fair? Have have it only proc once per battle, or have it proc any time it comes out? I doubt we're gonna like spam it a lot of times because switching out takes a bit. Um, but yeah, I don't. I don't know. I could go either way. I'll say. It, I'll say. It, at least for now, I'll say it happens every time it comes out. I think. I think it comes up because again, like we rarely switch out to begin with. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. All right. Seems fine. All right. But you gotta. You gotta bring something else in though. Yeah, I know. Just understanding between one of the two. And what, uh, whatever. Whatever you send in is going to have uh, initiative six. So it, it will it will it will be going uh before Suicune. Yeah. In that case, uh You know what? That's straight annoying for annoying! Come on, Lapis! <laughs> um... See so you have many buzzing things. Alright. Alright then. Chomper. Or actually, hang on. It didn't. It, that, that that was just non-damaging move. Suicune. Uh, now that it has done that, is Suicune going. To... Use its legendary ability. Wait, my turn's not over. <laughs> Suicune, upon seeing Yon Mega come out, is going to swish one of its ribbons very fast through the air and send almost like a almost almost like a razor. Through the air, a razor made of wind, as it uses air slash on lapis. Uh, oh, go to go for the bug thing typing. Right. Fifteen to hit special. Uh, fifteen hit special. Damn it, that hits. All right, that is that is eighteen damage. To be fair, the attacks are, are, are trying, so there's a benefit here. All right. Chomper, now it's your turn. Roll sandstorm damage. Oh, right. 
That's him gets in to say no. that. <laughs> now, Chamba. <laughs> 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 feel, bad, feel bad for Flygon, it's first battle as a Flygon, it gets destroyed. Actually, it, it didn't get killed, it got returned. Okay. Yeah, it, it used Roar. Okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we're gonna, it will be going in for its freaking... No, yeah, would, would, it be the, would it be the... Did I Thunder Finger? This will be your final Thunder Finger. This, this yeah. will be your fourth one. You've attempted it three times. Oh, please. Hit him with the Thunder Fang. Please? Even I'm hoping you hit. 21? No. No? Oh, man. Well, Max. you don't have flanking. What do you mean you don't have flanking? Leopard is right there. Is there a desync? Because I see Lapis as being here. I would have had it where I would have had it where we would have flanking. Okay. Then it barely hits. Okay. <laughs> okay, sorry, because sorry, because do remember, do remember that Dune thing is very much bigger than than, than Lapis is. That's fair. That's fair. I was <laughs> I, I, I was just thinking I was just thinking. Oh, huh, okay. He must have a reason for having it be a distance away, which That's actually the, means that Air Slash would have been at disadvantage. So give me a moment. Because because let's face it, because Dune is literally like four, like literally double Lapis is. Uh, Thing. So technically, if Dune was there, he had flanking, so that's why I put freaking left. That, that's that's uh, fair. That's <laughs> fair. But yeah, all okay. right. So that does hit. So that is. So go ahead and roll that damage dice again. So fifteen. Oh, no paralysis. It's not paralyzed. Damn it. F fifteen will become. So do I just roll the thing again, or just the damage? J just dice? another D eight. Roll a bit. Okay. Roll a D eight. Fifteen becomes. 20. All right. Oh, no, no, I, I don't think that would, I don't think that would have I was going to say that I know Lapis has effects for it, but that would only work on, on, on statuses it's trying to do, not Chomper, right? Jero, roll again, because that's a biting move. So throw, oh, an, so throw, an, so throw another, so throw a stab die in there, or whatever right. it is. It already, well, it already had uh, it. No, it's because uh, Chomp, uh, Chomper has strong jaw. Well, yeah, but that was on the base one. Cause oh, the right. Stab is on the base. It right. already has a one up there. Right, because it's, it does. It's not part of electric type. Sorry, it, so it was already applied. Sorry. I'm at. Sorry. Oh, no, that, that no, that was my bad. I was the one who told again. you to do it. I was the one who told yeah, you to do it. It was my bad. <laughs> All right. Although, is Tyrantrum level eight or seven right now? Or, or Tyrant? Uh, Tyrant is seven. Okay, so it is a D6. So it's correct. It's twenty damage. Okay. All right, before Layton's turn, the unknown are going to go. All right, let's see what these guys will do. The alphabet soup, it's here. As they're going to just kind of float oh, over. Okay, um, if you don't mind me asking. Yeah? Did we decide on what uh, we're still sticking with the only four moves or? We're still for sticking, now, yeah. we're still sticking with that for now. Okay. I, I, I want to figure out some better way to do that, or at the very least, find an easier way for you guys to mark which ones you have prepared. But for now, that's what we're doing. For okay, me, it's easy to tell because it's the only ones with PP. Okay, I thought of reason. I thought of that reason uh, uh, differently. So that means I really, I, only, uh, I have three very not great moves set up for doing great. That's okay. I'll, I'll have to look at that. All right, the unknown are going to float in, and they are all going to, or both. They are both going to use hidden power. One on Bahamut, one on Kong. So Bahamut takes zero damage. It is protected. Right, so nothing happens to Bahamut uh, and to Kong. Uh, that is a 16 to hit special. Barely misses the special defense is 17. All right, then they 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 both fail to do anything. They are taking the L and the E. <sighs> e. Layton. <laughs> they get back to shell. He has a side on his tail. Out to lunch. <laughs> <laughs> I would love if, like, just the flavor for, for Protect is he just leaves the shell and walks away. <laughs> yeah, not a, not a All right, so... I, I, I don't always... know what, what he would look like under the shell, because the shell's its whole body. No one does. Anyway, so I always forget this. Okay. Does the rolling to see if I can do anything, does that happen before or after I decide if I want to manually cure it? Uh, that is after, because you do that when you're about to take your action. 
Okay. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna... I'm gonna just... But if I use it on my action, then he can't do anything, yes? Correct. <clears throat> Alright. I'm gonna I'm a go for it. I'm gonna I'm a see if Leighton can shake it off for this turn. Alright. So I need to roll a four? You no, need a I three or a four. Okay, so it's a coin flip. Yep. Uh-huh. Hooray! Hey, all right. Hey. And Leighton is going to shiver as his muscles are tr are locking up on him, making his movement erratic. But being an electric type, it's kind of like that anyway. But as <laughs> as he does that, he crouches down and then does a sick backflip as he uses sand attack again. <laughs> Oh, come on! As, as he is blinded <laughs> once again. Yeah. Uh, nah, I'm not going down I, easy, I, old I, man. I <laughs> won't say a line, but freaking... Uh, uh, but freaking, you have you... Uh, uh, freaking, uh, uh, but you haven't seen Gravity Falls, so damn it. I've seen it. Say it. Oh, <laughs> freaking... Oh, God! We're always the eye! I just regenerated it! Yeah. <laughs> uh. All right. Any I just boop? regenerated that eye. I think uh, it's been a while since I've seen it. Just watch it again. Any boop it from Layton? Stay here. Okay. Nope. Raikou. Layton is, Layton is set up, and he's doing well. Uh, Raikou is going to uh, try to try to try try to get back at Layton by going for a crunch on you. Yeah, as disadvantage. Nineteen to hit physical. That will hit. All right. That is sixteen damage. And as my reaction, Wait, I activate uh, that static. Is, that is 10 damage. I remember this. All right. And as my reaction, I activate static. You are now also paralyzed. You bitch. Ha ha. Also, no, I hang on. It is. The first turn, but I forgot. It is 12. Turn. It is 12 damage. There we go. I got it. I got it right after a moment. Minus two more damage. Okay. Okay. All right. So, yeah, I meant to do this on my first turn, but I forgot. I was like, all right, I'll get it next time. And then you started using special moves. <laughs> Raikou's over here with ketchup and mustard. All right. <laughs> You are a hot dog indeed now. He still is blinded. Hooray, now roll for burn damage. Alright. Three statuses at once. Four technically. If you count the debuffs, yeah. Rita! Alright. Uh, let's see. Add confusion to the mix. <laughs> I'm debating it. <laughs> Parafusion burn blind! Yeah, it's just like my life is paid. <laughs> <laughs> Prove yourself worthy. You have proven yourself annoying. <laughs> <laughs> proven yourself a dick. <laughs> you have proven yourself a pain in the ass. <laughs> uh, do, do, do. All right, Rita is going to check her own clipboard. Uh, <laughs> Rita is going to actually get up closer. And she is going to whip out the wand again, and it lights up in almost a popping orange fire now, as she is going to attempt to use fire spin. Oh god. You can't you just can't stop, can you? No, I can't. Alright. Uh did the click again. There we go. Thirty one to hit. That's a hit. Yeah. For nineteen damage, and you are now on fire for three turns. And that's separate from burning. Yes, Correct. it is. Correct. All right. <laughs> All right. Ah, like, uh, my first degree burns. Ah, my actively being on fire. <laughs> With that... When did, they when did they invent fourth degree burns? <laughs> <laughs> well, third degree burns is like the weakest of them, so that would actually be not that good. Oh, that's weird. Yeah, it, it's, it's, it's like DEF CON. Also, uh, Bono, thank you for the resubscription. We're keeping hey. me busy, Rip. It was like you're seeing bones. But uh, now it's my turn. No, it's not, because... For, well, it will be in a second, but first, because Raikou is down below half health now... The letters, they come! Oh, what letters am I getting? I'm curious. I have L and E. Uh, I have... Ah, oh, fuck, what one is that? <laughs> I think I, I I think I roll, also have E. Roll roll uh, if if you want, you can do a quick intelligence roll to see if uh, you just to see if I'll tell you. Oh great, that's not Aiden's greatest strength. Just to see if you know if you if you can read unknown well enough. Nine. Uh. Is that a three? 
<laughs> Wait, is that a sideways W? <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold on. If you said to me, is it G? No, no. What? I'm, I'm waiting to see if, if Aiden has anything to say on that. Oh, but I don't fucking know. It looks like an E and then something with a <laughs> with a with a head with a head crest and a tail. All right. It is now called the E. The E also has a tail. So. I don't know what the spelling out of. I have. A, I have. A, I have a good idea. You okay. pass. <laughs> no, no. If you got L and Luter, Luter, in the chat. G G easy. L E. I didn't think you were gonna hide, Luter. But freaking, if I had, a, if, if, if I had a pretty good guess, freaking. We'll see. If you we'll see. Do you want me to guess, say, say it or no? Nah, maybe maybe wait, because like all, uh, Kate doesn't know what the others are seeing. So, yeah. hi, dig dongs. Yeah, hi, Lunar. Thanks. Okay. Uh, that letter can't stop Kong because he can't read. <laughs> <laughs> I hate that you use that, but well played. So Kong is going to use his last close combat and try to get as many dings on Ente as he can. Dings. Huh? All right. Uh, ooh. Nope, mm. that does not hit. I'm going to use Victory Star so it automatically hits. Ooh, uh, alright. Uh, that so mm. that so that is thirty-two plus four for another thirty-six. And now Kong takes a permanent plus four from all damage. Nine. Okay. Alright. Now murder this lad, Hobies. Yes, kill the Ente. Alright, all right. Ente Ente's go. Bahamut is still protected until his turn. Yep. All right. Ente, uh, knowing that it can't do anything to Bahamut, it's going to turn to Kong. And... It, there's a decent chance it's not going to hit, but it also sees that it needs to do a lot of damage right now. It is going to start inhaling before breathing out an enormous burst of fire with Fire Blast. It has disadvantage. Right. Let's see it. Kong's special defense is not the greatest. All right, that's an that's a 17 to hit special. That is Kong's defense. It barely hits. All right. All right. So yeah, okay. I just had to make sure I didn't have any any deficits. All right. So that is. 21 damage and roll a d4 on a one you are burned. Not burning. Okay. You're good on that. All right. Bahamut. Not, not as much damage as I thought it could have been. All right. Bahamut. He rolled low. Is, is going to get out of its protective state. And seeing as Entei is now a bit on the back foot, it is going to, while it is distracted from dealing with Kong, unleash a dragon claw. All right. And, and miss. <laughs> <laughs> I respect your tenacity. All right. That's me. All right. Lapis. Mm, if I try it, how long would it be to sleep for? Actually, no, in fact, I'll try this because it has more of a chance of the Wait, did we, I forget, did we say if confusion makes you actually hurt yourself or not? It, it does. does. Yeah, it does. Just on a chance. There's still a chance, like, paralysis that you get your turn. In that case... Remember when we used confusion uh, on the Red Rock? And, yeah. And <laughs> Lapis will start, uh, will start thinking, uh, uh, um... Will be looking over at Suicune as it suddenly starts rapidly flapping it up its wings to a vibration as it uses supersonic. And it will use effects for it to have it be uh, to, to, so that it has, it has this man, this man on the roll. Alright. It, it, it failed on both of them. Excellent. So it is now. Uh, You're confused now. Confuzzle! That's my attack. 
it, right. luckily, it doesn't have to meet its own AC in order to hurt itself. <laughs> All right. Uh, now Lapis takes damage from the Sandstorm. I know. So. All right. We have come to terms with this. And I believe that, that, that means there's now one turn of Sandstorm left. So go ahead, go ahead and roll a d4 and put that damage on Lapis. <laughs> All right. Yeah. All right. Suicune, before it can do anything, let's see if it hits itself. It does. As nice. Its attempts to its attempts to gather up some uh, some water fail as it instead uh, ends up sweeping some of the sand from the sandstorm towards itself grazing roughly against its hide as it instead inflicts some damage on itself. My tender pawsies. <laughs> Chomper. My tender toe beans. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Chomper will go ahead and... Is it that amazing? You're, you're out of well, Thunder Fangs, so what now? <laughs> well, if I, if I can bite with electricity, then I will bite to, then I will bite to bite! That does not That's happen. A... <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, go on. <laughs> Alright, it is unknown time. As we're going to be waiting on those last two letters for a while. <laughs> you're going to start up up here. <laughs> Now, now, now. No shame. All right, so... <laughs> it's not Jarrah's fault the dice are screwing it. All right. Uh, all right, so first, uh, uh, unknown is going to go against Bahamut. Uh, 15, yes. to, 15 to hit special. Uh, let me see. His special defense is only a 14. All right. Then it hits. And it does nine steel damage. Uh, that is neutral, so it's fine. All right. And then the E is going to uh, attack Kong. That is also a 15 to hit special. Misses. Kong's special is 17. All right. Th this E cannot do anything to him. Anyway, and now down here, we have uh, the G is going to float over to Jolteon. And, oh, and that is a 25 to hit. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah. All right. That is 13 ice damage. Okay. And E is going down to Rita. Hi. So it seems they're, 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 they're literally just going one to, one to a Pokemon. Uh, that okay. is a 20 to hit special. Uh, hold on. It's been a while since I looked at Rita's. All right. Yeah. All right. And that is 11 normal damage. Oh no, not normal damage. <laughs> Everything's weak to it. <laughs> in, a, in an inverse battle. All right. All right. It's Layton's turn. All right. Professor Layton and the Electric Cat. Uh, well, New Professor Layton, Layton game was announced, actually, I think. Oh, really? It I thought that was over. There was one. It uh, does get to do things. It was mostly just a, hey, we're working on it. They didn't really show much. All right. And then let's see. Oh, interesting. All right. Well, Layton. Uh, I assume these unknown are actual enemies and that they, they proc attacks of opportunity and everything. Yeah? Yes. Okay. And this is one target, not a line. All right. Uh, Layton is going to uh, turn towards the unknown, be like, "Sir, we're having it. We are having an honorable uh, test here. Go away." Uh, and is going to use. Uh, oh wait, no, that wouldn't. That wouldn't be good, actually. <laughs> Uh, do, 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 do. 
Uh, cool kid, I don't know when you left, so I don't know what you missed. Yeah, we're, we're continuing the fight. Uh, ads have been summoned. And he is, he is, you know what? He is going to assume unknown or easier to hit than a fucking legendary. <laughs> uh, it is going to just attempt to use Thunderbolt on the unknown. All right. All right, so that's disadvantage because it's technically a ranged attack. Oh, yeah. well, that's you, bad. You lost a crit, but you do hit. All right, so, that, so... That's still 23 damage. Yep, 23 damage to the unknown, and he has to roll a d10. All right. He's good. All right. Well, at least I did a, a decent chunk of damage to him. All right. I have no idea how much health these things have. <laughs> that's right. why I'm, ignor I'm ignoring mine. Focus on the big guy. Well, look, he's, he's, he's messing up my strats. All right. Uh... Meanwhile, this poor sod. Mm. Yeah, he's going to take double burn this round. You know well, what? First, we have to see if he gets to do anything. Well, before... You know what? He's going to use his legendary action. I, I have the... I have. These things have, like... Their legendary actions are a lot more restricted, but he is going to use the one legendary action that he gets in this fight... Okay. What do you do? Okay. Uh. Oh. <laughs> he cures himself of all the things that have been done to. Well, no, actually, hang on. That 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 stat change should still be there. Hang on. That's still there, but he gets rid of all the the statuses and such on him. Is on fire consider a status? Oh, burning. I, I guess not. Is. I guess not. I guess not. So that'll still be there, but not the burn. All right, but he gets rid of well, the he gets rid of the paralysis, blindness, and burn. Well, damn! I took a lot of time setting all those up. He he had to use his one legendary action to get rid of them. So fair. As he is now going to turn to uh to Layton here, and uh -oh. he thinks Layton has been reversed. <laughs> he thinks Layton needs to go away. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> What, what if way? No. What if no? What if no? He is going to. He is going to start to charge. Oh boy. Oh no. And then I'm not even gonna bother applying that thing because he is then going to unleash a thunder! Yep, saw that coming. Oh, Alright, that's the Green big Barrett. Gun. Green Barrett. Uh, 26 to hit. <laughs> yeah, I was hoping it would be Thunder's ass accuracy. <laughs> no, he, he, he rolled too high. So, uh, the damage dice are doubled. So let me add those. This is gonna hurt. You take 41. Wait, hang on. You resist. Yes. So that's minus... I'm just using Google to make it quicker. All right, you take 26 damage. And then minus the six from his debuff. Okay, that wasn't so bad. Yeah, so 20 damage. <laughs> really? See, you took even less damage than I took from Fire Blast. No, I wasn't. I was hoping that all the debuffing still helped. <laughs> and it did, because uh, I'm still alive. All right, how, uh, now what's the dice damage again, D4? Uh, actually, it is a D6 for being on fire. All right, he takes two damage. Continues to be dude, fuck all, but at least it's something. Rita. All right, well. Hmm. There's an E in front of you. You have, ad, you have summoned ads to hassle my ranged attackers. The alphabet soup is coming for you. I noticed. I don't like it. Wait, wait. Are unknown psychic or normal? Psychic. Well, then. She is going to look at this thing and go, you are in my way, and she is going to attempt to blast the absolute shit out of it uh, with a disadvantaged uh, shadow ball. All right. Uh, 24, also lost another crit. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, that hits. That does hit, but also wow. All right, and it is weak, so that's another... Another 2d6. 
Wow. All right, so 19 damage to this one. <laughs> All right. I'm assuming as like helpers in this trial, they are nowhere near down. They're not that strong now. Well, I said I said nowhere near down, but <laughs> oh, uh, not quite now. They're okay. they're still up and being annoying. They're both above half. Well, so. at least unknown are pretty weak, and their damage they do each turn is completely random. Well, we'll see. All right. Is that your? Is that is that you? That's me. I can't really go anywhere unless I want to get attacked again. All right, Kong. All right, <clears throat> Kong has now been struck four times, and so it's coming up. he's gonna be <laughs> he's gonna be charging up a super ah, powerful he's gonna be charging up a super powerful rage fist directed at Entei. All right, I'm I'm. Let's see if you hit twenty nine. <laughs> that yeah, that hits. Go ahead and add All that right. extra damage. All right, hold on. I almost put in 43d6. Uh, that is 15 plus 6, which is 21, plus 18, which is 39, plus 4, which is 43 Yost damage. Woo! <laughs> That's a lot! He punches, Entei, he punches Entei right in the soul with that one. <laughs> Entei is... <laughs> Oh, please. I have no soul. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Ente is uh, still hanging on barely. All right. I'm going to move Kong here, and then when Bahamut gets a turn, we can make a Tetris piece. Ente <laughs> uh, is deciding that this is not a good situation for him. Especially when he sees the four other Pokeballs on my belt. Yeah, he is going to. He is going to go for Kong as he is going to go for a crunch attack. All right, this will be neutral damage if it hits. Nat one. <laughs> he sees Entei going for a bite and he just grabs the metal plating on Entei's face and pushes it away. That was my mustache, sir! All right. Bahamut. Bahamut is going to... He's actually going to stay where he is because he keeps flanking this way. Actually, no, he can move to here. All right, and he, then he... Now out of his protective state, he's going to go for a dragon claw. Come on, buddy. 28! Oh, yeah, that hits. Huge hit. That is 26 dragon damage as Kong shoves Entei aside. And as Ente is whipping back around from the mist, Bahamut gets a dragon claw in on its side. All right, you deal that uh, that hit to Ente, and Ente on shaky legs finally can't keep itself up anymore as it falls to the ground and begins to fade away. <laughs> you did it. Travis jumps up in the air and he goes. Guys, I did it! Bahamut Dizzy. Kong... Oh, right. Travis just says to himself, Wow, I only, need, I only need two Pokemon. Congrats, though. The, the, and the, 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 the unknown uh, also uh, fade away. Uh, well, good job, guys. Let's wait for the others, I guess. All right. As, uh, all right, that is one third of all, this all done now. Bahamut didn't even get to half. All right. Lapis. All right. This is going to start getting faster as it just bounces back and forth between you guys. Yep. You know what? Since one of those down, I'm going to change up the music. All right. There's a dramatic news bulletin. <laughs> All right. Lapis. Our top story tonight. <laughs> the legendary beasts are fighting. Other things. And now to unknown with the weather. <laughs> I thought you said better dance. Hey, what are you doing? Gerald. 
Oh, again, I thought. It, it flaps his turn. <laughs> Did he hit that my bad? <laughs> okay. I literally thought it was still his thing, but anyway. In that case, considering, thankfully, he should still be confused. Um, we will have. Maybe he'll have better luck. Let, um, uh, ooh, uh, I guess Lapis would have to back away a bit for, for it to do Dragon Breath, right? Uh, you can do it from where you are. You'll have disadvantage, though. Also, I'm gonna... Let's see if I can... Though, do, though doing so, it'll, um, it'll make uh, Trump lose flanking, right? Uh, yes. All right, there we go. You should be able to see both areas now, Tim, just so you have something to look at. <laughs> All right. If I do it from here, would it, would it work or is it going to be more back? I will say, if you try to go back, he's gonna, you're going to get an attack of opportunity on you. Okay, so from here I can still do it? You can do so Dragon Breath from here, yeah. Okay. In that right. case, Lapis is going to go ahead and... and after confusing uh, uh, the sweet queen, and hopefully to be able to do more more damage, it gathers dragon energy in it. Well, in you're getting attack of opportunity first. Wait, I thought you, I thought you said things over here was fine. That's just farther against attack opportunity. What? No. You go back. I thought you were asking about drag getting dragon breath without disadvantage. Yeah. Okay. So you, I you, I thought, I thought, I'm sorry. I thought you said if I went farther, it go attack of opportunity. No, I misunderstood you. Uh, oh. If you move away from being adjacent to Suicune, you get an attack of opportunity. But if you are adjacent to Suicune, your range attacks have disadvantage. Okay. Uh, okay, that's what I meant. And I apologize for that. Um, again. I mean, how would I would have I thought that was work while confused though. It just it just goes. I guess it's paralysis right. where you, uh, the attacks of opportunity don't happen. True. Blind. And paralysis and blind, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you also might want to check uh, how, how Dragon Breath works. No, yeah, I'm saying. Alright. So, what are you doing? Uh. Your oh! So that would also hit him. Yeah. Because it's a line. I love that fine print. Okay, Max. Yeah? Um. No, I guess I would. I would, I would, I would either way, I'm gonna get. A, I'm gonna get a, an opportunity attack. So. Yeah, I think. We'll, uh, I think I'll just have Lapis step back to be able, uh, um, giving him the, and take the up attack. All right. Uh, Suicune is gonna try to hit you with a crunch. Eighteen to hit physical. Uh, physical. Yeah. Oh, wait, no. You said you said 18. Yes. Ah, just barely. All right. You take nine damage. No, that's barely anything. All right. Again, it is more of a special attack, I believe. So I got lucky there. Um, but yeah. Um, how much damage again? Nine. Nine. Okay. Um, and it will go. It will move here, so you know it doesn't hit. Uh, chomper, um, and it, and once it lines up, it gets the energy and uh, it gathers up the energy and then goes in for a uh, to, to hit to try to hit him with a dragon breath. All right, let's see if you have better luck hitting than Dune did. Uh! Nope. <laughs> mm, I hate you. Oh, <laughs> uh, since I'm out of battle, you can have my inspiration. What, are you sure? Yeah. I won. Alright. I don't need it. Okay, okay that's, a little, that's a little problem aggressive there. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's not I your, would, no, I'm, it's not, fine. I'm not your fault, but I can't engage it for until you guys are done, so I might as well help in any way I can. 
Okay, then, I'll, then if you don't mind, I'll go for it. Please. I mean, this is this is the only way I can help you on metagaming, <laughs> and it didn't actually help. Nope, sorry. Two, two fucking experiences that used that were both useless. All right. What did the dice hit me today? Well, I don't know, but uh, Suicune is going to turn to Chomper. Hold on, is he still confused? Uh, well... Uh, he is no longer confused. Shit. All right, breaks it, he snaps out of the... Well, at, no, hang on, sorry, that's separate. He, he is still confused, but he, but he... He is still confused, but he does not hit himself this turn. Uh, as he is going to go for an Ice Fang. 16 to hit, physical, on Chomper. Uh, 16? Yeah. Again, right up the freaking hang. Yeah, you hit. All right. That is a total of 20 damage. And roll a d10. All right, you're, frozen, you're, you're you're not frozen. Chomper's turn. Oh, right, hang on. Uh, I roll to see if he gets rid of the. Okay, he's still he's still confused. And fifteen doesn't hit. Ah, uh, correct. All right. Yeah, that'll be fun anymore. I'm sorry. <laughs> Again, it's not even you. Well, okay, okay Porsche the AC, but still. Like, the, the, dice, the, the, the dice just hate me today. Yeah, the, the dice are just not not friendly. All right, Layton. Wait, actually, no, it's the unknown's turn. As they're both unnaturally going to do their hidden power. Uh, that's a nat one against Layton. Hooray. And that's a 20 against Rita. Which I'm pretty sure hits. So that is 12. That is 12 rock damage, which I think is super effective because you're fire type. It is, yes. So that means you actually take 17 damage. Ow. All right, and it's Layton's turn. All right. Let's flip that coin. Huzzah! You are you are getting lucky with the paralysis. <laughs> I had to flip around from the D10s. Layton is Listen, going to look at Raiko, and, is it, and as if he do, is doing one last act of defiance against him, does a sick backflip. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? <laughs> He's like, I defy you, Elder One. <laughs> and that's your, that's your turn? That's Layton's turn. I defy you. All right, Raikou knows where you are. Raikou knows where you live. Raikou uses Aura Sphere. <laughs> ah, that's an auto hit. <laughs> it sure is. And <laughs> 15 damage exactly. Ah, but it's special, so it's minus six. That is true. So it's actually nine. Woo. Uh, that debuff is coming in so handy. All right. Uh, Oops. And now, six damage. Hooray. Rita, look on the bright side, Gerald. We're not going immediately to Mario Party after this. <laughs> I don't need to roll to see if his blindness goes help. away. Ah, right. Gotta be fair. It, it does. goes away. All Fuck. right. <laughs> Curse you, Elder One, in your special eyes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, All it's right. Rita. Yeah, it's, it's oh, Rita. Shit. I was hoping that would get this unknown off my ass, but it seems like this is not going to be quick and easy like Tim's was. All right. <laughs> I'm fighting an uphill battle here, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, halfway point. I haven't even reached. I didn't mention you. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're having an issue. I know you're having issues, but. You know what? I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try just in case. Psy shock on Raikou. All right. 
Uh, oh, hold on. I heard Mario Party. We're not doing Mario Party nice, today. Nice shock on Raikou. <laughs> Anyways, disadvantage. All right. Uh, but it does use his regular defense. So yeah. You know, hopefully. Y yep. Once again, lost a crit. Well, no, you only would have had that if you had advantage. Oh, right. But Neutrality. still, but still. <laughs> All right, 23 damage to Raikou. Huzzah. All right. The damage continues, so I'm doing all right. All right. Fortunately, considering how much it took him to get into half, not not out of this yet by a long shot. <laughs> Back over to Lapis. The Sandstorm is... Oh, I wasn't actually doing... Uh, okay, Suicune takes three damage from the Sandstorm. Uh, Lapis also needs to roll a G4 and take damage from the Sandstorm, and then the Sandstorm is gone. Oh, uh, right. How much was the damage of the Sandstorm again? 1D4. Oh, right. that! I, I, I swear, it's just been rolling high when the damage is on me. I swear yeah, that. yeah. I, I, I'm gonna be honest, Jiru. Like, sometimes it's just like, oh, you got a couple bad rolls, or oh, just you didn't do anything special, <laughs> like especially big. Great. This is a, this is an occasion. The game is actively out to get you, and I fully acknowledge this. <laughs> Forward to your comeback story. Like, <laughs> this one of this way. Anyway. Um. Oh wait, no, wrong, I all went to the wrong one. <laughs> wrong freaking page, and I all of them up. Um, it's still confused, right? For for this following yep. one. Yep. Good. We can, we'll try for the dragon burst one more time. See if it, uh, see if it works. Cause we're really locked in on that. All right. You hit! Oh, that's... Oh, God. <laughs> now, oh, remember? Oh, wait. Because the plat, because the for the goal for the plat, the static effects point does still proc. Yep. Ah. It, it did not get paralyzed, but still, you the you damage did. Is something. Yeah. So that is a total of. That is 22. Uh, it has plus two defense, uh, special defense, so it becomes an even 20. All right. Yeah, but it, yeah, and, and it's like trying to go for like trying to go for jump and every uh, and everything. Even though he did get hit, um, it took Lapis sort of distraction to be able to gather up the the, um, the blue flames once more and try to hit it and, and hit it straight in the back with the uh, uh, with his dragon breast. All right, Suicune turns and stumbles as it, its attempt to face Lapis and get some payback results in it simply uh, hurting itself further. The confusion is gone now, but... But it, but, but it hit itself with the pot to lose this turn. Thank God. Right. When did you... I think it should still have the confusion for one more turn, because I think I've only rolled the confusion damage twice. You did... You did one turn. Cause you you used supersonic and then it was confused yeah. and then the, yeah. and then the next turn you did dragon breath and yeah, then and, and that, it was and, 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 it's, and it was able to move that turn. Then oh okay then then yeah no it has worn off okay. Oh yeah it was three turns then. Okay all right then yeah it has worn off all right but it did still punch itself in the face basically. Chomper. Bite damn you. Nope. <laughs> yeah. All right, the unknown. You're supposed to be good at that. Uh, 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 what, 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 I think you need to raise up the freaking thing more, damn. All right. You're supposed to be good at admitting uh, physical, god damn it. All right, 26 to hit. Uh, Layton's down. La oh, Layton. What did it do? It did, it, it did 13 damage, and it was rock. Ah, uh, all right. All right, Layton, you put up a hell of a fight, my boy. Okay, Layton's our first actual KO. Yeah, I, I, it, I saw it did 13 damage, and then it was it was like, no matter what, it, even if it resists this, it'll still be dead. Yeah, it's bad because I was actually going to return him this, this time. All right, well, he's still Layton put up a hell of a fight. <laughs> yeah, he's still going to get some XP. He still contributed a fair lot, a fair amount. I'm going to say yeah, so. Yeah, yeah uh... he, he goes, just thinking every time, just... 
<laughs> I, <laughs> I just came out imagining that everything was the, uh... Uh, again, uh, I was imagining that, that, uh, because of all the sand attacks, that he just have, that, that we can just have, just have, like, a little collar with, like, a little sand pouch there. <laughs> <laughs> the Layton goes, uh, the Layton goes down and Raikou, is like, sighs in relief. Uh, and that is a 13 to try to hit Rita special. Uh, no. Okay, go ahead and send out your next Pokemon. It gets an immediate turn because Layton was about to go next. Ah, if only I had that thing that does more damage when my ally faints. But for now, what we can do is send out Marty. Get his health back there. <laughs> All right. M -m -m Martin. His first two e battles after being born are against legendaries. Yeah! <laughs> he's getting power leveled. <laughs> he, 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 he's showing up to these, and he, like, he's eventually gonna, like, pull you aside, like, Sir, what are you doing to me? <laughs> Sir, please. I'm two weeks old. <laughs> and you're doing great. It's like if you threw. It's like if you threw in a fresh featherweight against Mike Tyson and Evander Holyfield, back to back. <laughs> but it's working. <laughs> but it's working. <laughs> Martin comes out. He lines himself up. He looks at this. He looks at this legendary. He's like, "All right, here we go again." And, I'm, and uh, I'm, he, time to box he punches his gloves together, and he's like, "So I hear you've been getting a lot of fire." <laughs> Well, yes, I have been. It's been incredibly painful. <laughs> All right, then. And he uses Ice Punch. <laughs> Fair enough. Get him. And... Uh, just making sure all the stuff is set how it needs to be. We know Raikou's physical defense is actually pretty low. Yeah, it has pretty good special defense. There well. you go. Yeah, that hits. 15. 15. All right. Ooh, Damn. very close. So close. Well, yeah. And you have a trait where you get stab on all punches. Oh, that was actually almost minimum damage. Oh, well. Uh, yeah, okay. You, the, st the stab is already being applied. Okay. Yep, uh, it is already in there. All right. So, yeah, now it's just like, all right, I heard you like special. Let's see how special your face is by fist. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> you can hear me? You got the one-liners. Yeah, Raikou does not appreciate that, and Raikou is going to uh, begin to charge. And then he's going to Thunderfang you. Bring it. Bring it. 17 to hit, physical. Damn, yes. <laughs> Alright, extra damage dice. Uh, and then mi minus that 6, so... It becomes 20. Oh, is it becomes... special or physical? Oh, right. No, this is physical. Physical attacks are unaffected. So that means you take 28 damage and must roll d d10. Oh, jeez. That hurt a lot. Big hit. Big hit to start off. Not paralyzed. Okay, We're you're still not... in this, though. It's only round one. Oh, I'm still burning. Oh, the burning is, is gone oh. now. <laughs> oh, finally pats it out. <laughs> All right, Rita. This Rita, who's, like, who's over here, like trying to slap the note away, like go away. Damn it. <laughs> this, is, this is my stage, damn you! We can do. We can. It wasn't a group set. I'm having a dramatic duel. I'm gonna, I'm gonna quickly like move, uh, like just kind of, Cade and uh, Aiden, just so like you guys can see each other's things. There we go. Oh, okay. Hi. There, now, oh, now, you can, now you can see each other each other's arenas. Neat. Since Travis already finished, I'll do that. All right, all right, Rita. Uh, Rita, it's just like, well, might as well try one more time. And so she is going to use her last side shock on Raikou. Ah. Disadvantage because of this fucker on her tail. Uh, twenty. Does not hit. Physical. Right. Does hit. <laughs> Sorry, right, I, I just glanced out and saw special. It was like, nope. All right. Unfortunately, uh, once again, minimum damage. I don't like how this is going. Uh, Fourteen. All right. Damage has been done. You know what? I'm yeah. just gonna. I'm just gonna. Now. Nah, I'll wait on that. All right. 
All right, she only has her other two moves. She has used up two of them. Over to Lapis. Let's try to go again. Let's try to go for it again. Come on, Lapis. Ah, oh, that didn't work. Nope. <laughs> uh, Suicune. Oh, wait, no. no oh, no, I'm thinking. Oh. I'm not, my turn already went. Never mind. Well, what, what is it? I was going to do something else, but I got this started because, of, because I, I got into it because of the hit we're going to put it, but then I remember I'm going to do something else instead. Ah, okay. Sorry. Now it's my own fault, Megan. Go on. All right. Uh, Suicune <clears throat> is going to... Uh, it's going to continue to focus on Chomper for now. Uh, is going to go for uh, a crunch. Nat one. <laughs> Tweakun has been missing a lot though. That helps. The, the yeah, that helps. this area over here is just kind of the zone of nothing. <laughs> yeah. Funny because all, all three of our battles had had a different theme. Up there was all damage to both sides. Mine has been debuff hell, and Jiro's has been AC. <laughs> and, my, and mine has been well, again, this is the battle that never ends or starts <laughs> this is the battle that never starts alright it's Chopper's turn uh, again, anyway my anger aside anyway here's Wonder Wall <laughs> anyway here's Wonder Chomp uh You can do it. Come on. You got this, Gerald. Oh, it's you, still not going to hit. You can't do it. <laughs> remember, remember your comeback. My comeback was one hit. <laughs> yeah, it's better than Suicune's been doing. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> See, that one, one hit hit me at least, uh, uh, at least more than once. I'm tr it's okay. All right, the, uh, the unknown are going now. As this one is going to... Go after Barton. It's got flanking. Doesn't matter. That was a nat one. Two this other row. one's this other one. Other one's going for Rita. That's a thirteen. That doesn't hit. All right, Barton. Punch the cloud. Uh, yep. Yeah. Uh, Martin is gonna uh, smile, and he is this time going to break out the drain punch. Ooh. Because he's hurt now. That's my attack. <laughs> <laughs> and so uh, let me just adjust that based on his level. All right, here we go. Uh, making sure. Uh, yep. Oh, okay. Hiya. Uh, 26 hey. to hit. Yeah, that or, hits. Got to love that double stab because of iron. Uh, so 26 damage, and he recovers 13 health, which is not too shabby at all. All right. Martin's here to deal to deal it and dish it. All right, and Raikou's here to eat you because he's gonna thunderfang you. Well, how many of those you got? Uh, uh, Jero had four, so I guess four. Fair you know enough. What? We've been here a while. Do yeah. What you will, sir. I was just debating if I if I would have him use charge right at the start again, but I'm I'm gonna try. I'm not gonna be too scummy with that. He's just gonna how thunderfang. How many does he have? Yeah, he's at a Char He has five charges. Oh, okay, he's used them at least like three or four times. He's used he's he's he's, he's, he's used three because he used one for a thunderfang, one for thunder, and then he used one like that. Then got used a little later. I have something I don't know. Either way, thunderfang, twenty-one yeah, to hit. Thunder. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All right. Uh, ooh. twenty-four damage. Ooh. All right, he didn't need to charge that time. And roll a d10. Oh boy. <laughs> All right. All right, Martin's Ooh. still in this. Rita. It's a knocked out, slug out fight. All right, Rita. Now only has two things left. She's, she still has this fucker on her. <laughs> so she is, she is gonna turn e around and try to <laughs> yourself. And she's gonna try and shadow ball the unknown on her tail again. <laughs> the unknown's coming out. You're like, we've been trying to reach you at your car's extended warrant. E. <laughs> no. <laughs> Go away. 
Uh, get, 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 get to add another 2d6 to that. Alright, total 25 damage to it. Go away! He's barely still up. Good to know. Alright, Lapis. She's like smacky kit. No! Okay. <laughs> But <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna do before Hammer messed up here, uh nigga. The thing, the thing is I don't know how long this will last. Well actually no, Megan, we're gonna go considering considering guys have been doing at least damage should if it does this, uh yeah. Megan. Uh they're confused again. Alright. He fails. Nice. Thank God. Oh, that's three. All right. The three confusion. Got to sing bullshit. <laughs> All right. Suicune. He hits himself. Hits himself. <laughs> nice. I'm curious if Suicune's ever gonna use the legendary, but I guess it's only ever confused right now. I don't think Entei got to use his before I killed him. Yeah, no. And Suicune just kind of hasn't really needed it. <laughs> Because, like, the things Suicune has are buffs. Those are buffs. Huh? That's from, that's from, I clear my own buffs. Yeah, that's from Calm Mind. Ah. Uh. Right. Chomper. And the legendary action can be... There are other things legendary action can be used for, but yeah, Entei didn't get to use it. All right, Joe, you got this. Come on! No. Okay, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Even with flanking, that would barely miss. It's okay. You got you got Razor in your back pocket, and he's really strong. All right. He's not, the, he's not my only my, my only little trap card I have. All right. Uh, the unknown. Thirteen special against uh, Martin. No. All right. Fifteen special against Rita. No. Double misses. All right. They both blocked. They're like, haha, we're onto your tricks now, Martin. As he just does a whirling around the world hit as he turns from the unknown to just try and sock Raiko in the tooth with a drain punch. Alright. Fuck. That does not hit. Yeah, that's shade too, because that was good damage. Uh you never oh, used the I thing. Yep, I am actually going to use my inspiration. Alright. Come on, come on. So here we go. Yeah! yeah. All right. Initial damage. Twenty-eight. You go. You go in. You deal uh, seven damage because you knocked him out. <laughs> All right. As you go in for the the punch, you get him an uppercut on the jaw. He falls over onto the ground, and once again, just like Entei, begins to fade away along with the unknown that are here. We need to either invest in another black belt or that punching held item for Hitmonchan. It's a punching held item. Uh, there was one introduced in the new game, yes. I've like not currently made a thing for that, but yeah, it, it is a thing that does exist. Uh, real quick, I'm just going to... Boop. There we go. Now you guys can just see. I, w I would say we should have Martin and Kong go at it, but I think we know who would win. <laughs> All right. Yeah, you are part ghost. I, I guess we could make it a basically that, that there's still a wall separating me from the other two. Yeah, there is still a wall. I'm just doing this so that they can see without issue. All right, Jero. All right, you got Martin this. And Rita are down. So it's here. Here we go. This is what it's come down to. Welcome everyone to the Jero show. <laughs> <laughs> all Jero, all the time. You're not gonna have Jero. No such thing. Like, <laughs> I'm gonna reset my Because it is confused again. Uh, Lap was in there going for another dragon breath. There should be a third one. Can I move on, can I? Come on. Oh, shit. Come on. <laughs> but not one city over in that room. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, Max has rolled like four of them. Suicune actually gets to do something. Great. <laughs> As it's going to Ice Fag. Suicune is just like, look, I'm an, I'm as embarrassed as you are right now. <laughs> That's a 21 to hit Chomper. Physical. Well, just sure agreed to tell everyone that it was an awesome fight. You know, yeah, that'll, that'll definitely hit. That is 17 yeah. damage and roll a d10. Don't go I'm back to the bad. Ice Age, buddy. 
Oh, he said D10? Yes. You're not not frozen. All right. Oh, 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 how dare you? You know he hates the cold, you bitch. <laughs> Chomper. That's it. I'm switching things up. Oh? What does that mean? <laughs> instead, instead of going for the body, because my left is no good here. Um, Megan. It. Like, if not liking the court, it's gonna, it's gonna be like, he's gonna be very, more angry, and it's pretty much gonna go from biting to going with his dragon, uh, going to his dragon instincts, and he's also no argument. Uh, no. The confusion is oh, already damn. Yeah, he got he got my the last four. Blind. Yeah. Well, right. he's gonna go for the for the for a dragon tail. All right. Dragon yeah. tail. Dragon tail. Ah. Come on. Do these dice. No. All right, La uh, Lapis, because <laughs> there's no unknown. Yeah, I'm thinking. This is. Jesus. Oh wait, there's no unknown. Oh, I, I, so uh, just to make something be known, by the way, real quick. I'm not even the halfway point. I just want to. I need something. I just want to make something known, because uh, this this will make it very clear that this is just the dice completely fucking Jero over. What Suicune's thing? Uh, uh, so Raikou and Entei. Raikou had 21 special defense and then 16 regular defense. Entei was the opposite. Suicune just has both their defensive stats, so it's 21 in both. 21. 21 is what you're aiming for. So you only need a 13 or higher. So uh, yeah, the dice just are mad. Not even a not even a thirteen on Lapis, just an eleven. Fifty fifty. <laughs> Alright. Lapis. I just did. Ah. Nope. <laughs> uh. Well. That's uh, out of Dragon Breath, I think. Or you might have one more. I think uh, I have one more. Yeah, he has one more. Alright. Uh Suicune is uh gonna go for surf. Oh god. Oh well, it's neutral for him at least, but still. Yep. And all right, it's Chopper's turn. <laughs> Thank Sweet. God. Sweetman's also missed a million times. Thank God. Oh, you oh. hit! You hit! Okay, twelve damage. It, ju it jumps over the the surf as it as it's already had its tail charged up with uh, 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 with dragon energy as it just slams Sweetman to the ground before before it lands in front of it. All right. All right. Hopefully, for the uh, hopefully that happens with the follow up. Sweetcoon's uh, not, uh, <laughs> not gonna run away, so it's just damage. I know. Yeah. All right. Sweetcoon's gonna try surf again. Uh, surf in USA. That's a 19 to hit. Uh, special. Special. Okay, no, yeah, but special definitely hits. Okay. okay. Be neutral, that neutral damage. Neutral, so that's 24 damage. Or sorry, 26 Oy. damage. Oh, got the calm mind, right? Yeah. All right, Chomper. Come on. Let's see. Let's see if the dragon tail hit. Maybe the bite finally. Nope. No. <laughs> no, you're asking too much from the dice, Jero. <laughs> his, his, his jaw is tired today. <laughs> Laugh is. Uh, considering. I'm just imagining like you get it to halfway, the unknown come out, and you start attacking just the unknown because you want to hit something. At this point, it would have been a good possible. idea. At this point, it would it would have been a good idea for Young Mega to just spam Aerial Ace. At least that'll hit. Honestly, that's what I'm gonna go for. All right. Again, it oh it will be flying into range, so it will be flying around here to at least get to at least while doing all these physical stuff, it will at least actually help both of them get at least flanking. All right. So it will be going with the Aerial Ace. Eight, that would have no. missed, but thankfully. And then you rolled minimum fucking damage. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> yeah, Laser progress. All right. Uh, Suiku, now that everything is here, it's going to surf again. That's a oh, four. Okay. four it all around, right? it, you are you are close enough that this will hit you. And what for, is it? For, for, it is surf. It is a 14 to hit special. That might miss. Barely hits freaking Jan Mega. It hits it, meets it. Okay. It hits both. And I assume it hits. Okay. Then that is. It'll do reduced damage to Lapis. Yep. So Lapis takes. 
No, we'll do, we'll do damage to both. Oh, wait, no, but you know, more because of bug, right? Well, no, you're dragon. Oh, yeah, that too. And cho for Chomper, it's neutral. Yeah, Chomper's so, neutral. Lapis Lapis, is. So Lapis takes 22, and Chomper takes 26. Chomper. You want to do this? <laughs> wait. Um, is it all for at least his last dragon to at the very least? I'm waiting for the crit. No. <laughs> no. No. Lapis. It's at least hit something. Jesus. All right. Okay, I'm having damage. All right. Suicune is going to go for its final surf. Uh, that's 26 to hit. Yeah, that hits both. Yeah, I'm pretty sure uh, Chomper's going here. Yeah, that's 23 damage to Ch or 25 damage to Chomper. And then... And then 20 damage to Lapis. Uh, Pulkin is saying, wait, is Suicune about to struggle? Uh... Legendary Pokemon have 10 moves they can use. <laughs> so... Fair enough. They have to hit a lot of things. Yeah, that that that's why. Because otherwise they would genuinely just be struggling before too long. Yeah, they can... I recall a uh, Chomper going, you did your best on the, uh, on the body, that's all I could ask you. Well done. And I go... Uh, <laughs> you got two hits, man. You did... <laughs> you did good. Why do you bring me down like that? <laughs> Sorry, no, I just find it funny. Instead of the standard form, yes, because it's a raid boss. It's it would run out of things way too quickly. <laughs> also, like, like you, Max. I know you're over the jokes, but against me, not today, not okay. now. Okay, okay, fair enough. Sorry. After all this, not today. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. Not, um, not today. <laughs> all right. All right. It's just one of those days. I can hit you. I'm just stuck in my head now. Anyway. Oh, sorry, did you say? It's been one of those days. <laughs> had that up for this! Anyway! <laughs> I, uh, freaking, I will be bringing him back here. Uh, come back out, dude. Oh, sorry. Oh, where, where do you, where do you want to go? I was, I was just trying to make it so it was on the grid properly. Yeah, I was going to make it so... Kill would be flanking, though, right? Or is yep. A bit you can, they both have flanking from there. Okay. All right. So... Uh... You get an immediate turn. Oh, right, because Chomper was the one that was gone. So in that case, let's go for let's go for Dragon Claw. Oh, and 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 the Sandstorm initiates again. All right. Because it's answer. And thankfully, this one won't crit that Mega. Yep. All right. Now Here let's see. Go. Come on. There you go. Whoa, oh, that's a big hit. Here we go. Massive hit, 29. Come back starts now. All right, and with that... The letters. Yep. Yeah, as uh, Suicune lets out a call and from the ground. Today's comeback is brought to you by the letters. <laughs> Legend. Yeah, you expected that's what they were spelling. All right. Uh, it is now the unknown's turn as they're going to start moving in. N is going to go over here and hit it power. That is definitely going to hit Lapis. Oh boy. That is okay. That is flying damage, so you are weak to it. So roll this again. <laughs> you take twenty damage, Jesus. Is Lapis down? No, no Lapis no. is still good. All right, and then D, okay. you're about to get the D. You do not get the D because that was a 10 to hit. <laughs> yeah, that's not gonna hit. All right, Lapis. Um, Lapis will go for its last stereo lace. Auto hit, eight more damage. Yeah. All right. And dude is gonna go, uh, is gonna try to go for another dragon claw. All right. 20. 20 barely does not hit. 
Oh wait, I was gonna wait. Hold on. I read Dune Gold Dwayne Hang on a so sweet one's turn, but my bad. That's fine. I'll just uh, we'll just skip Dune's next turn, basically. Also, uh, real quick, for the unknown, I'll just say they both take this from the sandstorm. Boop boop. And boop boop. And I don't think I did Suicune Sandstorm damage last turn, so I'll do that now. Because I was caught up in... Oh, wait, no. It there wouldn't have been Sandstorm damage last turn, because it, 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 uh, the new Dune was an outdated. Although, the, 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 after Dune was... Although okay. the, unknown, the unknown did take Sandstorm damage. Yep, I already did that. All right. Suicune, uh, seeing that you're here again, uh, is going to start to focus some more as it... Raises its calm mind further. Before it's going to... Realize there's not a whole lot of... Con you know what? Fuck it. It's going to... Uh, move at blinding speed as it's going to slam its dune with extreme speed. That is an 18 to hit, physical. And it technically has flanking with the D, so... 20. Blanking the D. <laughs> <laughs> Look. <laughs> Alright, I assume you 20 hits. I assume 20 hits Dune, physical. Uh, yeah, and what you hit him with? Uh, it was extreme speed. Ah. So you take 15 damage. And then. And then I take one. Alright. Dune. Oh no, we said uh, we said that we had Oh right, that, uh, yeah, right, yeah, okay. Yeah, we're saying that that because of that that we're saying that the, 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 the dragon come with the sink, so we'll just go straight to the unknown. Yep, so that means Uh does a sixteen special hit Dune? Sixteen just uh, just barely. Alright. It it. Alright. Uh ooh. Wait, All hold right. on. What did you hit it with, though? It's hidden power. It's always hidden power. <laughs> yeah, but he's but he's dragging ground, so he's immune. Yeah. No. What? Is it, is, is it ground immune? To, is, is it ground immune? To it's a, a it's a normal move. <laughs> no, but doesn't hidden power become like whatever the move whatever the move the terrain is? He's been rolling it each time to see what random element it is. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. My bad. I, I, I thought it was because that because it was flying that it was flying just the whole time. My bad. No, no. Also, uh, ground is not no. immune to flying. <laughs> I thought it was. Other way around. Backward. Other I way around. To ground. Oh, my, my, my bad. Freaking, uh, <laughs> all good. All right, so. It's kind of all over the place because of, uh, of freaking losing the dice. Okay, sorry. I get. No, nah, it's not Fine, your fault. Dude. It's not, it's not your fault. Fine. It's all good. All right. Uh, so the unknown going after Lapis got a 19, which means it gets to choose the type that the, that it is. Lame. Oh. Because if 1 through 18 decides the type, get a 19 or 20, you choose. Uh, it can't really get quad effectiveness, so it's just going to choose flying here again. So that is a total of 16 damage to Lapis. And Dune... Uh, 10 damage, because Dark is does not do anything in particular. And then... Lose some more health. And it's Lapse's turn. So yeah, it's, it's, yeah uh, Dune takes 10 damage. Yeah, I know he's that. Alright, it is Lapse's turn. Because then you can see that Lapse will be going down next. And uh, we'll try to con uh, uh, we'll try to annoy Suicune one last time and just yeah. And he's confused. Yeah. Defy them till the last. <laughs> All right. And now it's Suicune's turn. All right. Ow. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Good. Confusion has been damning for Suicune. Still confused. Nice. Damage from Sands. Lots of D4s there. <laughs> you will win this battle through chip damage. Dune. Dragon Claw. Nope. Ah. 
It has one more, so I think I have an idea what to do next if we can move to a sand this. Alright. And also, they now, they all do take the sandstorm damage now. Yep, I've been doing that as we go. I'm doing it on their turns. Okay. Alright. Uh, the unknown are once again doing their thing. Unknown. Uh, okay, those are definitely gonna hit. So. Oh boy. Uh. Yon Mega is down. That was 14 damage. Yeah, it, that'll hit it. Yeah, it was a rock type, so it got super effective. Ooh. And then, okay. uh, and, and I'll just finish off. I'll just finish off the D over here. Boo. I know what I said. Uh. Ooh, it got dragon, so it's also super effective. Oh, great. I'm lucky. Uh, 15 damage. On D. I'm not about to bit, so can... yeah, he rolled the minimum damage the first time. So all right, now now, now go ahead and uh, set out your replacement. Yeah, I'll I'll, I'll bring that as back and go. Uh, uh, keep going. Uh, uh, thanks, uh, thanks for the help, buddy. We'll take it from here. Again. Uh, Alucard, card coming out. <laughs> yeah, I, I won't, it won't be over here because of the whole yeah. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And it will be doing. You get an immediate turn, so. Yeah. And oh, I just remembered that it's that it's tanks. I did not have to quit right now. Um. Also, it's it a long time in the box. <laughs> yeah, yeah, did. Um. But. It's I assume if it, it, it once you beat this, it might evolve into a crowbat. Yeah, and I don't know. Okay, that's weird. Why was that? that anyway, um, You'd really given it enough friendship. <laughs> well, it's gonna try to go. Um, it's gonna try to do different, and hopefully it hits. So it won't. Be, it doesn't have the best rolls, but let's go for poison fang. Come on. Ah. Nope. All right, Suicune. Ow! <laughs> God. Still confused. All right, more owls more for a total of three damage. That. Oh wait, no, no, sorry. Yeah, because it's that. So okay, yeah. All hey, right. Three damage owls. Come on, fly gun. All right, back to Dune. <laughs> the thing is. Now oh, there's still a chance I could miss, and I'd be just wasting two turns if I did it. But then again, if I don't, what am I gonna do? I'm taking the risk. You're gonna laser focus? Yep. All right. Hopefully, try to go for a crit with, with my last dragon claw. I've kind of been realizing that laser focus is kind of just true strike. You could just hit it's twice. Kind of, yeah. Well, well that's, it's an that, auto crit. That's what. Yeah, that's why I specifically made it an auto crit. If it yeah, but, cr but crits don't get the attack modifier added back to them. So if you hit twice, well, it, it's it's a set it's a setup move. If you if you if you're gonna have anything else you could do, look, it learns it. I put it on it. <laughs> anyway, unknown time. I think I think normally laser focus is just a, sl a an increase to the crit chance on one move. Fair enough. So I I made it better actually. All right, unknown. Uh, Oh, don't for oh, uh, don't forget the sandstorm damage. Uh, I I already did that, and also now okay. the sandstorm is gone. All right, uh, fifteen to hit Alucard special. Uh, say one more time. Fifteen special to hit Alucard. Fifteen special is a miss. Ooh. Nice. All right, and then nineteen to hit yeah. Dune. I'm pretty sure it does hit. Or special as well. Yeah. Yeah, that will hit. Okay, that's fine. It's normal type. You take 14 damage. Okay, yeah, that's not so bad. All right, Alucard. It's gonna go for that poison man again. Come on, buddy. Nailed him. Yeah, that'll hit. Yeah. 12 damage. Oh, I'm thinking, while dodging the, the attack from the unknown, Alucard zooms in as it goes, uh, as it uh, I'm thinking it's job dripping with venom as it bites into Suicune with a poison fang. 
Suicune is not a fan of that. Not poisoned, but... Not be afraid. Right. Fuck the right. fear of turkey. Suicune turn. <laughs> see if I... Thank you, but that made me feel better, but I don't thank you for that. I don't even... I was thinking of, I was thinking of the quotes from him, and then you summoned him out. I was like, I gotta do one. Let's see if Suicune hurts itself again. Ow. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That was. Th I think that was three. Your thing. Your ending was not in vain. <laughs> I, I think. I think that was three. So I think it's yeah, over. Yeah. Yeah. The confusion is gone now. But all right. Yeah. Dune. Yeah. Okay. Come on. Come on. Let's go for that hit, please. Yes. All right. Uh, Twenty so damage. Yep, so add another add another D12 and D8. So 20 plus wow. 18. Oh my god. 20 plus Very 18. Nice. 38. Ooh. <laughs> Suicune is barely still up. Okay. How did you get the other D12 and D8, by the way? It, uh, uh, laser, laser focus, focus made it an auto crit. Ah, okay, thank you. Yeah. So, all right. Now's your chance to take him down this round. All right. The Unknown are coming in with their hidden power. Uh, does a 16 special hit Alucard? Meets it, beats it. All right, then Alucard takes... You are part poison, which actually means that you resist it this time, because that's a bug. Correct. So you take 11 damage... And Dune, 15 special to hit. Miss, it's 16. All right. Alucard. See, here's the thing. I don't know what will happen, what will happen if I try to go for a thing. It's not that they're going to just be fun, uh, uh, funny this way. Hey, uh, hey, Suicune. I'll make it work. What do you yeah, think? what? <laughs> <laughs> what do you, uh, uh, where do you think Lapis London from? Ah. Well, this is a worse version, but let's see. Hey! <laughs> oh, God! Will it happen? <laughs> Will he kill himself? Let's see it. No. <laughs> he oh. does! He does! <laughs> it's a coin flip! He does! He... <laughs> that That's enough damage to KO himself! Oh, Suicune did more damage to himself than Jero did, I think. Suicune stumbles and falls over from the supersonic, eventually fading away. I didn't, I didn't even have to end up using my aces for this. <laughs> oh, you know, it wasn't too bad. Zero KOs on my side, one on Rhinos, two on you. It wasn't too bad. <sighs> I could have a lot better, but still, freaking... Yeah. So... It, definitely, it, definitely, it definitely made it a bit long, but hey. So yeah, it's basically, a legendary trial fight. So yeah, basically what it was is that uh wrong. It because a trial fight, like I didn't mind that it took long. It was just the dice hating me that made me hate yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so what could Ente have done that I didn't let it do? Uh well, give me give me just a moment. Uh so basically from 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 all this here. Uh so Ente and Raiko had uh 13 for their uh, attacking stats, whichever one they're meant to do, and 21 for their defending stats, mm -hmm. while Suicune had 21 in both defending stats, uh, and then 12 special attack, 8 physical attack, uh, and then also Raikou had more speed and they had more HP, and Suicune was more all around aside from the defense. Uh... All of them also had the abilities where they were fully immune to their own type. So if you ever tried that, then it would have done nothing. Noted. Uh, other legendary actions they could have done included uh, a, 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 a use, use, using one of their moves outside of their turns. Uh, or uh, this ended up not being really a thing because you, because you guys were always uh, close together. Uh, a roar that would force you, uh, like everybody, to like surround them. Hmm. Force everyone to surround them. Interesting. Yeah, to get them within like range. Huh. 
But yeah, they, they ended up not, not using those. And then, yeah, healing themselves of all status effects. But yeah, all right. You did it. Let's get this up in here now. So, what happens? As, as that fades, you all feel yourselves kind of getting lighter as your vision starts to go white. Yep, here we go again. Oh, God. Uh, uh and I I didn't have a, I didn't have a map for like not this, so I'll just put you back on map. But you find yourself so returning just put us back in the regular temple. There wasn't there wasn't one. You, there wasn't a map for it. <laughs> it never existed. <laughs> As you actually find yourself reappearing back in the cavern that you had originally been in when you put the bell on the pedestal. Standing in uh, front of the pedestal. Ah, uh, my head. Are the professor and the and uh dragon Kaida lady there? Yeah. Uh yeah. They 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 they're 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 here they're they're, they're they are there. And uh They're here, they're there, they're everywhere. Uh everybody roll perception. Oh boy. Uh, let me get Travis to shoot out. Uh, oh, and I uh, forget, um, the proficiency bonus. Uh, did it increase at all? I forget. Yeah, it did after our fourth badge. When we got fourth badge. So, yeah. You, oh. have, you should have a plus four in everything you're proficient in now. Oh, okay. Uh, Travis gets a 14 because you rolled under it. 25. All right. I'm going to say you, you, all, you, you all get to notice something. So, uh... Uh, Travis, mm -hmm. you notice on the, the pedestal in front of you, uh, what you had seen beforehand is that it had the flat space on top that you would put the bell on, and on the pedestal had been, thir uh, had been 15, uh, small indentation dots, like three rows of five. You take a glance at the pedestal now. And you see one of those dots has vanished. Okay, yeah, we gotta do 14 more rounds of that. <laughs> uh, Cade, you notice, and like, th this is something like you only notice because of just that uh, you, you had like been looking at the other, uh, at the professor and Kaida when you were first kind of warped. Uh, they are still like in the exact same spots as when as when you warped. So pretty much like they can learn that one as, like as as oh. if enough as if no time had passed. And huh. Aiden, you notice that despite that uh, very difficult fight that you just had. You and your Pokemon are at full health. And this applies to all three of you. It uh, is at, it is as if the oh. battle never happened. What the? How long were we out? Uh, Professor Eric was out? What do you mean? Uh, wait, did you, you all think... not see that flash? No. It's more than a flash. And you didn't... Kind of, kind of, you didn't... Like, Last thing we, you put the you put the bell on the pedestal and it kind of sunk into it and that was like ten seconds ago and nothing's happened. Oh, a bit more happened for us, I think. Uh, so you guys had the dream where we all had to fight the legendary beasts of Johto, right? I don't think that was a dream, but yeah. Well, sure it, it, it clearly sure it didn't did. happen for real. So what was it? Uh, uh, also, I look over the pedestal again, to, and then I notice that whole thing because I, I, I would have been the first. I would have been the first one to notice that because I haven't wanted to put the belt down in the first place. And I notice that thing being going. I don't think that was a dream. You one of also, the dots on the pedestal is gone. And you also oh, realize uh, after uh, you look over at the pedestal, and you see it, something is rising out of the top of it, just like how the bell had sunk into it. Something is coming out. Oh, oh! Do I think we, we uh, I think we trade. I think we made a trade with the temple. Do you think we get a reward for passing the trial? Uh, I don't know. What is there now is a 
is once again a bell, but it is a much smaller bell, and it appears to be made entirely out of crystal. Whoa. Oh. Ooh. Huh. You have acquired uh, a special item. Give me a moment. You have acquired the crystal bell. As long as one of you three has this, your party will auto-succeed on all last stand rolls. Oh my god. In addition, when you do a last stand, you get to choose what the additional buff is, aside from getting half your health back. Oh, I forgot there are buffs. We, we've only ever done it once. <laughs> oh. You have, you have received your reward. Well, Jiro, you had the hardest time, and you had the bell before, and I assume we don't have the old bell anymore, right? Correct. The old bell is gone. But again, yeah. uh, this applies to the entire party yeah. as long as one of you has it. It effectively know, doesn't I matter. Thought, I, thought yeah. I thought Cade might like to have a direct upgrade to his bell. <laughs> a, di <laughs> a direct bell upgrade. <laughs> a direct upgrade from uh, bell to a different uh, internet service. Uh, I'm guessing it would I'm guessing if it was much smaller, I'm guessing it would be like what, the size the size of like a Suze bell? Like like you 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 would like you it's the kind of like you could hold the handle like between like your finger and thumb and just ding ding ding. <laughs> huh. The I, I, I the what I keep wanting to say is like those bells over the doors in places that you open the door and it rings the bell. Okay, Man. I got I got it now. Uh, Travis is going to look around the room. You said when we came in there were depictions of all types of legendary Pokemon on the wall. Is there still a depiction of the legendary beasts anywhere in the room? Uh, there are, and they appear to be glowing. A faint white. Whoa, guys, look at this. Uh, I go I go in and I gently uh, uh, take the bow out like to inspect it and uh, uh, again... Uh, and then I and then I do follow uh, like I was doing that as soon as, um, first and then uh, I I um, I hear um, uh, uh, thinking Travis call it and going like so we saw what we what we Doc can show its real trial and now because we uh, and now because we beat it we got we got this balance of award and that I'm guessing showing that we beat them. And one of the dots is gone. So if I had to put, take a guess, if, you, if if we were to come back here with more relics related to legendary Pokemon, we could have more battles and get more rewards. I wonder what happens if you do all fifteen. What's, what's, what's the point? That's a I lot. They, yeah, I'm about, to, I'm about to say, what's the point? The there has to be fifteen of them. To which, at that, to which, at to the fact that I'm mentioning that now, I'm just one now, now I can't help but look over at. And, and the professor and Kada, do they see the glow on on on, on the on the painting, or do just we? Uh, when you pointed out, yeah, they they do notice that 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 that's there now. Uh, they they don't know when that when that started glowing. This is crazy. It's a shrine dedicated to legendary Pokemon, and you can fight them in this sort of dream realm. It's incredible. Art isn't necessarily. Uh, odd, but the uh, second part definitely. Yeah, because Cade, Aiden, and I, I had to fight Entei, Aiden had to fight Raikou, and Cade fought Suicune, and we each defeated one of them. And there not, were not, to, not to mention there, unknown. Yeah, I had to face unknown that had the letters L and E. Odd, I had uh, the one and I e fought for. And, and N and D, L E. Legend. Neat. This is so the, the shrine. It is the, the shrine chamber of... of legends. Wow. I'm a little tired from all that, but I wonder what would happen if we put these triangles on it. If anything, yeah, maybe best leave it for another day. I'm gonna. I'm gonna say uh, you could do it now. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, I mean, Aiden, if... do you want to try yours, or should I try mine? Aiden has it out in his hand. I'm up for it. <laughs> well, my Pokemon are back to full strength, so if everyone wants to just... For science. Science. All right. You put it on the pedestal, and after a moment of nothing happening, you hear... 
the mysteries behind this relic. You are already on your way to solving them. And Ooh. nothing else happens. Does only okay. Aiden hear that or everybody? Uh, all, all three of you hear it. Whoa. But, right, but, but, the professor, but the professor and Kata don't. They do not. Going. All right, well, so if I had to get... Well, but I don't know if we're solving it. So if I had to guess on this one, I'm guessing this means that the bell we put on essentially was an already solved mystery since we knew, uh, all, we essentially had surmised what it was from, whereas we know little to nothing about these things, so we need to know more about what the connection is. Huh. But, uh, like, at, at, the, at this, I can't help but have, uh, I can't help but have a thought going, uh, Travis, Aiden, can I look at both of you, uh, at, at, at both pieces real quick? All right. It takes it off. Again, Ooh, take it I, off. <laughs> I I try I, I have them like together like like hand in hand and I try and like I look at them just curious to see if like there's anything like is like there's any if they are they exactly the same or there's something that they like connect with each other in some way. Like pretty much just testing some just testing out a theory. What you see is that uh you know what? Roll investigation. Uh, okay. Assist him. Um, I'll say you can assist, so you, you get you get advantage on it. Okay. Um, advantage and but did, um, investigation will be intelligence, right, or wisdom? Uh, it, is intelligence. Intelligence. Ah, <laughs> come on! <laughs> but this, even even here, they're still hating me. <laughs> Uh, I will yeah. say, just because this is something that's easy easy enough to spot, uh, you do see the two pieces you have, uh, when you put them close together, it's, there seems to be almost like a light magnetic pole that kind of sticks them together, though you can easily separate them. Huh. It, se and it seems like they stick together like a... You know, it, like like al like alternating one one's right side up, other's upside down. Uh, you also notice that while they are extraordinarily similar, they do seem they do have like signs of wear and scratching on them that make them slightly distinguishable from each other. But overall, they are the same size, uh, same sort of sa same weight. Overall, they are the same. Well, if anyone's ever well, considered like putting a putting a colored mark on one of these? <laughs> but it's a but as, soon, but as soon as they're put together, they almost have like a magnetic property to them. Interesting. Yeah, kind of just, 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 just like, like very, like very gentle magnets. Like you put them there, and like they'll, they'll, they'll stay near each other. But you can, if you're trying to pull them apart, you can pull them apart without too much hmm. trouble. I guess we might have to find more pieces, and maybe they'll form something. Maybe. Considering the fact that they're able to do that, makes me, makes me wonder if the fact that they're able to, at things, at the very things, attract each other might mean that the when we to show them more out there, and maybe when we have the right pieces, uh, 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 with, uh, with the right thing correctly, maybe they might stick. Hmm. I think I haven't seen uh, anything like this before. Excited we get to come back here and experience more mysteries. A lot more, potentially. But we're going to have to find a lot of relics if we want to finish this place off. Yeah. I hope this isn't too boring for you two. Aiden looks to the professor and Kata. No, it's it it's seems fascinating. Like they're, since it seems like things are getting a little selective. No, it's honestly fascinating. I'm. I have heard of all sorts of leg legendary areas devoted to Pokemon, shrines or temples, or sometimes even considered to be burial sites of a sort. But this is something very new. It's almost like it. Like it. Based on what you describe, it's like it created it almost a an, an illusion or a dream in order to test you i wonder who or what made this place what's the what's the point the fact that it's tied to all these to to what's the point think um, it's even more interesting when you think about it like this the fact that there's all of these uh, that there seems to be like these 14 different tests all of, all of them within uh, uh, all of them legendaries and it doesn't matter what region they're from it's almost in a sense pretty much like the region of Azar itself just a 
mix of all sorts of different uh, uh, of different regions combi- uh, uh, combined into one. So the thing, oh. so, mm. so the thing, so which brings the question is, how is it that this uh, making? How is it this was here in the first place, and just how long has this been? Uh, has this been a thing? Maybe Rosara has always been a melting pot. I don't know. Well, the, Perfe- the land was Perfe- only it was only inhabited relatively recently. Obviously, it's been around for who knows how long. The landmass itself, and this certainly doesn't seem like a man-made location. Hmm. Maybe. Professor, you might want to reach out to everyone you know across the region, see what other relics they might have. I'll certainly give a look. I'll also see if any of them have any information about those strange triangle zones. I'll see if any anyone has spot come across any of those in their travels. Makes me makes me wonder, considering the fact, uh, uh, considering the fact that everything maybe. No, that wouldn't make it. Well, then again, what? Well, obviously you you know how uh, um, again, I can help but think maybe before you know the world the regions that we know them as it, uh, as they were now what if they all used to be just one uh, 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 just one continent and Vizarra was the center of it all which is uh, and these legendaries all actually lived uh, uh, in in the same place at one point. and uh-huh. this temple was dedicated to them all large-scale geological shift uh, theory. It's that not, could work, yeah. It's not impossible, that's for sure. Would but explain also, a lot. This might be a long shot, but Professor Tamarack had that weird fossil that she had no idea what it was connected to. What if it's actually a relic? That... Huh. I will, oh, no. I, I will, I will oh, remind I you... I it feels the same. Yeah, I also will remind you that that was huge. <laughs> well, yeah, that, you know... Yeah, like, it was pro- like, 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 it, it was like a shell. It was probably about as big as Reggie Drago. Okay, yeah, never whereas this then. is like a pedestal we set things on. Yeah, yeah okay. something was like, something tells me that thing is a, is, is a mystery in, in and of its own. Well, Rizara is just full of all sorts of mysteries, some connected, some different. And honestly, it just excites me being able, trying to solve all of them. Yeah. Like it, Definitely, oh. definitely has me curious, and also I, uh, I'm looking around just because I, uh, just because King is probably curious himself. He, he looks around to see if there's any, uh, uh, considering he knows that all legendaries are, uh, that there seems to be like a bunch of legendaries here. He can't help but wonder if the, if the ones that he grew up know, knowing about were here. As he looks about to see if there's anything from, Alola, like the Tapus, or, or even the, or even, uh, or anything like that. Uh. Go ahead and roll religion to see if you recognize any of the other uh, legendaries around here. Aiden and Travis, you can do the same if you wish. Uh, or, oh, I don't have religion. Uh, that would it be... is intelligence. Hey! That works. 19, 19. <laughs> that one. Come on, Travis, show us up. <laughs> if you get the crit, I swear to God. <laughs> Oh, I just, yeah, uh, Jero, I think you didn't get a single that 20 that entire fight, too. No, I didn't. <laughs> Alright, Travis, do you want to join in on looking at the walls? Sure. Alright, roll, uh, roll religion. Okay, that's just straight intelligence for me. 17. So close. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna say you, you all recognize some stuff. Uh, based on like the, the, car- the carvings and hieroglyphs, uh, Cade, since you are from Alola, you see something that very much looks like perhaps Tapu Koko and presumably the other three alongside it. As you do recognize the symbols of the Tapus. I. Uh- I go over to that panel going, I'm thinking, they are here. Aiden, uh, you, uh, spot, you know what, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do Travis first, uh, cause Travis, as you take a look around, you spot, 
uh, you spot uh, some carvings that appear to resemble the Swords of Justice. All four of them, or just the main three? All four of them, with Keldeo seeming to be in the center. Whoa, they're here too. The swords. They're touching tips. And... <laughs> God damn it, I know! <laughs> and Aiden, I should deduct this from you, but <laughs> you... That's the thing, even with real musketeers. You are looking around, and you spot one that stands out possibly more than the others. As you see three, you, you see three symbols or three creatures, three figures that after a moment you recognize as Groudon, Kyogre, and Rayquaza. Ooh, it's the weather trio. For a yeah. second, I thought it was going to be the lake trio. You have all you all recognize these different legendary Pokemon. Wow, amazing how stylized some of these can be, huh? So not just so not just some of the lesser legendaries, but even some of the primordial ones who control the elements. They, they can, even the even the top who 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 are the potentials of a Lolo here too. These, Eric, these, I'm shocked. I remember what some of these are called. These four are the. <laughs> These four are the Swords of Justice. They roam around Unova in order to keep the peace. Aw, that's nice. <laughs> these, are, these are the Tapus. They created everything and, and helped keep things about. Aw, that's nice. This is Groudon and Kyogre. They fought each other and brought horrible weather for, for many years. Oh! <laughs> wow. <laughs> This is so Rayquaza, it's Shadrod! I'm trying to sleep. So it's like Kate said, even even legendaries who have never been seen outside of their home region are depicted here. Huh. I'm guessing the research of legendaries either was present here, or they had an influence we're not able to understand just yet. Do you think... Do you think maybe this place was created by Arceus? That... Huh. Does Arceus build temples? I have no idea. I just Does know it? that it's I just know that it's the creator Pokemon. Everything. I mean I guess if not if nothing else did it, that would be an answer. Uh, I wonder. And, and, and you mentioned uh, and the fact that he, that, that, that he mentioned Arceus, uh, Arceus I uh, we can Look into all the symbols. I try to see if I can't uh, because I would have at least heard about these stories they're doing. We can, so that, because again, K would have also like been interested in like in the in like Pokemon myths and stuff, despite you know, also being a dragon head. We can, uh, <laughs> a dragon head? <laughs> well, uh, aficionado. We can basically just no. I like dragon head. I like dragon head. <laughs> yeah, same. That's fun. <laughs> And anyway, besides that, he would, uh, like I said before, like he is really interested in in, in like ruins and stuff. I know also, I would have looked out the legends. And he mentioned the Arceus. I uh, um, can't help to look out to see if it's anything, if, if, if not him, a certain different trio as well. Uh, roll perception. See if you find or investigation, I guess. I think I know which one he'd prefer. It's gonna be investigation. <laughs> Damn you. Uh. Oh uh what it what is the trio you're looking for? Considering Arceus, I was uh, besides Arceus, I was wondering if uh, if, if, if they had freaking Dialga Park and Giratina. You Oof. do you do spot Dialga and Palkia and Giratina. Oh. Go ahead. And because he got an at 20, I'm going to throw something else in there, too. Oh. Uh, as you're looking around trying to find them, you also spot, almost like right in the center of all of it, you see Mew. There they are. Whoa. I go, I go ahead and, and they can... Uh, uh, spot, spot like, 
Well, I don't, uh, uh, I don't know about uh, uh, about Arceus, but can, but yeah, the that's as we can get, considering what I found, and go, and and I point over to the to the carving with with uh, with the Alga Palkia and Giratina. Well, yeah, these whoever built this had knowledge of way more legendaries than I think most people do. And pretty much, and and as I and again, almost uh, vinyl. And Aiden <laughs> says that. I, I finally look at the cutting in the center and I walk up to it going if not if not had uh, I think you might be more right than you think but at the very least it might have been the, the it might have been able to be all of these Pokemon uh, as I because look at this and I and I just you guys over to see the cent the very center carving which is mew. Is Mew a shapeshifter? Yes. Oh. Yeah. It can learn transform. Okay. Ditto, Ditto was like the prototype of trying to recreate it. Okay, I, did, I thought that was just and, being and, and Mew is huh. the one Pokemon. Is, and Mew is pretty much being known as the Genesis Pokemon. Is the one Pokemon that is known to have the DNA of not just the DNA of every single Pokemon, but is able to use every single Pokemon move, even legendary moves. Okay. Oh. Wow. That actually would explain a lot then, if something has the knowledge of this many things, if it was based off that which could be the source of all the knowledge for it. Honestly, well, uh, honestly Max, because the place was, was like, it seems to be like, almost like alive in a sense, I was half expecting for someone else to be right next to me. Well, <laughs> the, the good news is, because of the magical nature of this place, we don't have to worry about anyone bad finding it. Well, that's not necessarily true, but... I, I, just hope you're I, I think it's, it's, it's going to be right here for many people, but I, w I guess it depends on what, because at least it seems the temple has some lingering will to it. Pardon the Kingdom Hearts uh, accidental reference. Uh, no, thank you, for, thank you for the trauma. Uh, <laughs> assuming, assuming you can't just blow a hole in the wall with dynamite, then it'll only allow worthy trainers in. Yeah, that's what that's what I was leading to, is because it has the the will to choose. I'm guessing this place has some power to it. In any case, Although, con considering, considering we know Team Stay have Pokemon experts with them, that might still be an issue. If anything, this will have the, this might need to be left between uh, between not not just well us and the, uh, uh, and the Professor and Kada, but at the very least, if uh, again, looking over to the Professor Kui, if we're gonna keep this, I would suggest keep uh, talking to this with only like the uh, the top regional professors, just in case. We don't want to risk Team Stay finding this place out. I understand. Well, it's theory and conjecture right now, anyway. For the time being, yeah. at least, I'll do my best to keep its location a secret. I'll, I will yeah. do my. I will also try to look for any other potential artifacts or relics that I may be able to dig up. We will as well. I'm sure we'll find. We still got a whole half of the region we haven't been to yet. Ugh. Reagan, oh. and, the, and that is just how put sign and, and, and Reagan just like taking it all in. And then can't help but do like a, like a bit of a, like chocolate bit with a grin going, uh, looking at, uh, 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 at you guys going, guess we chose well on our team name, huh? I guess so. We didn't know oh, right. how great it was. Uh, there's a contest tomorrow. We should be getting out of here if we have not much else to do. Well, I mean, think with, with everything that happened, I almost forgot about that. It's not the contest tomorrow, it's the tour tomorrow. Yeah, the tour. Yeah, the tour. tour. Oh, right, the, the tour, right, right. Yeah. Aiden did not forget. Uh, <laughs> Travis is gonna look around before we head out and see if any Rizar and legendaries like Hajiru are depicted here as well. That's a good question. That is a good question. I was about to ask, I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna ask that last. Go ahead and roll uh, religion. I'll say you have I'll, advantage cause if uh, with the others helping you. Okay, that's good. 23, natural 19. You don't have quite enough knowledge of legendaries to know for sure if one is a Rizarin legendary or is from a different region and you just didn't haven't heard of it. But you do not see Hajiru or the bird that you saw before. You don't think you I, do, anyway. I don't see Hajiru or that firebird depicted here. Weird. 
There are other leg legendaries that are not depicted here as well. For example, you, the Reggies are also not depicted here. Yeah. But, okay, that's uh, odd. Why that's was a shame it... too? Because I, I was really I I was kind of curious about that hmm. separated landmass theory with Regigigas. But that does make me wonder: Why would legendaries who are only known to be in this region not here? Perhaps this is. Hmm. Well, does anyone really know when legendaries were actually birthed, created, for lack of a better term? Surely it wasn't all at once. It certainly not. It generally depends on the depends on them and, and their legend. It it said that Dialga was formed at the at the start of time, whereas ones such as uh, Rayquaza are. More, a bit a bit more mysterious, but likely not as old as the world itself. So it's entirely possible that this was formed before the Razaran legendaries were, or they had there was some other reason for them not to be here. Perhaps the fact that this temple is here in Razara and they simply didn't see a need to uh, add anything for any any Pokemon that could be found within the region, only the ones from outside it. I was about to say, because the fact, because, I mean, we have, I mean, the po uh, uh, points over to, because uh, we literally just saw, uh, 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 just saw once and, because, uh, uh, go point, because points over to, uh, to, to the, the, the trio we just faced, thinking Sweet, uh, uh, Sweet Kunraiko and Entei, jo uh, Johto points to the Tapus, uh, Alola, Points over to the sword, uh, uh, to the source of justice. Unova point over to, uh, uh, o over to, uh, uh, to the create to the creation trio. Freaking Seno, and again, uh, all of these are, are, pl are places that are, are pretty much all entirely different regions. So at the very least, the the, the legendaries known from those re from those regions that don't seem to be something that that's here in uh, uh, that's here in Razara. So. Could it be that this place, the temple, was pretty much dedicated for trials for the for, for for legendaries that cannot be encountered here? It's possible. If this place's main purpose is to test worthy trainers, I suppose it would make sense that it would focus on Pokemon that can't naturally be found within the region as it is. But that's the first something that they wouldn't be prepared for. Exactly. To prove, that, prove their worth, in a sense. Not to mention it would give them, essentially give them a taste of Pokemon from all over the world. What it seems like. Hmm. Regardless, I believe we should probably be heading back soon. The sun will likely be setting before too long. We don't want to be stuck out. We got an appointment over in Idatana. I'll leave for the best. I'll keep in contact with you if I come up with anything for any new relics or such. I would also, if I were you, I would get in touch- Inwardly cringe, is that remembering his texting? <laughs> if, if I were you, I would uh, possibly contact Ignatz as well. It's very likely that he, well, certainly not impossible that he would have uncovered something associated with legendaries in all of his digging. Again. Um, Megan, uh, this is me asking uh, uh, Megan, out of character. Um, quite, yeah, good thing I'm wrong, Megan. The, do do we essentially know that Ignatius is is the is the, is the context that we just knew him as someone from from a from, uh, You know, from you Atlanta do know he is the rock type expert. Oh, okay. You know he is the rock type expert, and he is the head of the Ignatz Mining Corporation, from yeah, which and is currently in Renera Town. So yeah, you 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 know that about him already. Okay. Uh, I was going like, uh, I suppose we could if we didn't. Uh, 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 I suppose uh, we could if we didn't mind. Then again, uh, I, I think you'll have to watch for us a bit because we want to kind of explaining uh, uh, everything we found. It'd be a little hard to believe. That's true. Well, I mean, it's, 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 well, no, he wouldn't know about that. So never mind. Wouldn't know about what. I was gonna make. I was gonna ha have Hickory make a comment like, "Well, you ran across a Reggie Rock. I think he'd believe pretty much anything." But then I realized he doesn't know no about, that. know about that. Yeah. 
I, I, I won't do it. Because I, I remember that we went there and we met Ignan, but I remember if he... If, I don't remember if it was because he told us about it or we just... Knew, or, 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 or we just happened to f uh, know that, that there's a mining place there. You you found Ignatz himself. No, yeah, yeah, I know that, but I, I was remembering if I was trying to remember if we went that way because uh, Hickory told us to go there or because something else entirely. Initially, you just went there because it was on the way, and then you learned, oh, there's evolution stones here, and then when you went to find Ignatz, you were there right as they encountered Reggie Rock. Oh, okay, and, and I guess we rolled a hundred. Yeah, and I guess yeah, and, and, yeah, and I guess uh, Q, so. Q us mentioning in that that. That big and so big and so we wouldn't have known that he knew Ignatz. So Q us going in, uh, and he's gonna be like, "So you know Mr. Ignatz?" Of course, I'm relatively familiar with most of the experts. Again, at that, at at or like, considering he didn't mention it, uh, uh, considering he didn't mention what happened. Uh, uh, I mean, I mean, Kate would have noticed that he didn't mention anything with the red, uh, with the veggie, so he had to keep that to himself. All right. Good. I, go, I suppose I wouldn't hurt. I suppose I wouldn't hurt to be able to ha uh, 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 to be able to have someone else go in, especially considering he seems to, be, uh, well, considering him and his mining company, he would have a, uh, he would have a thing with exploring ruins at the least, so it wouldn't hurt. Uh, what are we telling? We're just asking about relics. Pretty much. Making sure. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, because because besides the well, well, when he, well, when he turned in the bell, but but uh, again, the only other one we have is the the triangle uh, and yeah, we, we have the tri we only have the triangle and that's pretty much it. And it doesn't seem to be accepting that. Yeah. So we need to so we need to figure out whatever the the, the thing is for that, and if we discover any new relics. So we pretty much have a. Essentially test your, uh, essentially prove your worth. But, 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 this now. seems a lot more important than the league now, but <laughs> uh, we should probably just keep going on with the league and let whatever happens happens. I mean, I mean, well, it is a, it is a, this would be a good place to be able to, uh, uh, to, to, to test their strength after, uh, after a challenge, and plus, considering. Uh, uh, and considering we're still going to be traveling around the region, we couldn't end up running into more relics. One way or another. That's yeah. certainly true. Can't, again, remember, remember, uh, 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 remember a certain number he got recently, and then can't, can't come up to, to himself. I wonder if he knows anything. I will say, uh, he... He mentioned, Mirabi mentioned, like, when he gave you the bell, he literally bought it at an auction thinking it would be not, it would be nice, and then learned it doesn't actually ring, so that's why he gave it away. He, yeah, li he, literally, ju he, he literally just came across it and was like, ooh, pretty. Oh, it doesn't work. <laughs> Fair, but I mean, considering I would have told, uh, at the very least, he's explored, considering everything, <laughs> I would have had to ask. All right. So are you, are you all going to start heading back now? Yeah, I think so. All right. Uh, I'm going to mention real quick that you now have a Chamber of Legends handout. Uh, what? Oh. Just kind of a, a base. It's basically here as a recap of, of, of what you've done here and what your rewards are. Oh. And then... And you know what? Something's gonna happen as you guys are leaving. Uh, as you're heading back to the town, let's pull you over here. Pull you back over to the a, a nice a nice simple grass encounter area. Yep. What? What? Uh, we'll just see if it's what I think. Cue the sound effect. <laughs> Silence is deafening. <laughs> All right. Also, funny enough, funny enough, before before I that happened, before that, wait, what? 
Yep, both at the same time. Uh, honestly, funny enough, when I said cue the sound effect, I got a Discord message! <laughs> oh, it was only on my end, but I thought it was funny. What we got? What As we you're traveling got? along, what you come across... A you're more Paco! Aw, oh, cutie. Is that a shiny? Yes. Yeah. Because, oh. because the middle is, is is more like a cream color instead, instead of just the pure white this one is. Huh. A shiny poniard! Ooh. Oh. And... Wait, what? A Nuzleaf. Uh. <laughs> Poor Nuzleaf! He's, he's there? <laughs> he, 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 he's, he, 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 he's trying his best. Oh. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> yeah, you 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 come across these three. <laughs> because at at seeing this, I can getting uh, open to go wide and going. Wait, two shinies? <laughs> well then, we got some interesting things here. And well. I mean, I already have Lapis, so so I figured more than, and, and, again, unless you two for some reason don't want either of these, it's, it's going to be to you two guys if you guys want them. The only one right now I would be slightly interested in would probably be the, uh, would, would probably be the, the, the opponent because I don't have a steel type, but, but again, I already have my own, so if you guys want that, you guys go ahead. Mm, I've been looking for an electric type, but maybe something else. Where Peko's actually decent. <laughs> he, is a really, he is really powerful. Where, where Peko is at, where Peko is pretty good. Where Pe it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a physical attacker, but it also has like, like it's a, like a unique move and unique ability sort of thing. Hmm. Plus, you can name it Snickers. You like? <laughs> if, yeah, if I, if I tell you, if I would have caught it, I would have, I would have named it like Neapolitan or something. Its stats are terrible. It has a 436 stat total. Just trust the DM. Mm. Yeah, in, in I'm, I'm looking at I'm looking at the blue dabber over there. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, you don't have a you don't have a steel type either. So yeah, that's a little for you. Uh, he will eventually. Eventually. Hmm? Nobody has a dark type. I don't think. Yeah, but, yeah. Oh no, no, I do. I only have two. Oh, yeah, yeah, you have two. You have two pure dark types. <laughs> Hmm. But yeah, uh, Morpeko Mor Mor is decent. I guess I could go for the Morpeko. All right, I'll go for Blue Dabbington. All right. Blue Dabbington. All right. And Nuzleaf is there. All right. Everybody Nuzleaf got... is there in case Kate is interested. All right. Go. Well, I, well, I am looking for, well, I am looking for, uh, 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 for a grass type, honestly, because I... Uh, again, honestly, don't, the, the thing is, the, the thing against them, but I honestly don't care much for Shift 3. That's fair. Again, and that plus, I, that plus it could be immediately another dark type, and I'm like, uh, uh, and I'm like, I'm already doing stuff with, uh, uh, I'm already doing enough with dragons, so I, need, I don't need to add uh, a big dog to the main stem, go even more edge. Ironically, you don't have the dragon dark type yet. <laughs> Funny enough! Um, I guess if anything, just be. Uh, uh, just because it'll still be good, tra uh, uh, good quote unquote tra uh, training, and considering you know the battle we just went to, again, also just to have it out a bit more, especially considering he's been, uh, uh, he's been breaking the box a bit, uh, and plus you know time advantage. Go on, hello card. Max, I think something happened to Amy. Her health is 50 below what it should be. Uh, hang on. Might be just be on the token. No, it, it it might be a token thing, but uh... ah, yeah. Hang on, hang on a moment. I don't know why. I don't know why it sometimes does this. Every time I try to level up Pokemon stats, I need to like give it a second, otherwise it'll delete what I just put in. Weird. Roll twenty being weird. There we go. All right. Okay. So, uh, go ahead, everybody. Roll initiative. All righty. Right, that's what it is. Oof. <laughs> hey, 
And yeah, you could technically use two Pokemon for this, but just it it you don't need to. You don't that need feels to. like that that feels like nah, I don't I don't feel like we need to. Yeah, yeah that's, okay. Yeah, that's much. Alright. This is a fair three on three fight. Although I do like how all the Pokemon we came across are dark types. <laughs> that may be why they were hanging out together. Wait, Ponyard is dark? Dark yeah, steel. No. Dark steel. Oh, steel. oh, I thought it was steel fighting. No. No. It eventually will We went over this in fusions, Rhino! <laughs> even when it fully evolves King Gambit, it stays the same. It's quad weak to fighting. Huh. It's weak well, I, don't to think he's, I, don't, I don't think he's seen King Gambit, has he? I've only seen, seen vague notions of it. Uh, uh, don't don't show him anything then. If he's gonna catch this, I want him to just see it from getting it. Uh, all I know, all I, I look, this is the only thing I know about King Gambit. You have to take out other knights, and it's sitting down. Its evolution is stupid. Uh, <laughs> like getting getting to evolve is stupid. Uh, what is Alucard's speed stat? Uh, ten. Okay, then you get to go before the Ponyard. All right. And Baboop. All right. The Morpeko, seeing that a fight is brewing. Uh, a fight it... is surely brewing. <laughs> you, you, you led me up to that. A brawl is surely brewing. Fight! Uh, as it is going to uh, kind of start running in place as electricity starts to form around it in a, a wheel shape. Before it goes charging at Shori using Aura Wheel. Which, I don't know that Aura move. Wheel? That is That's Warpeko's signature, signature move. Uh, it is currently an Electric type move. That is. Correct, a, I get it. That is a 14 to hit physical. Uh, 14 to hit physical. It's been a while since I used Shori. Let's re-familiarize myself with her stats. Haven't used Shory at all since the defense buff. Uh, you said physical 14? Yes. Uh, that is a miss. All right. Uh, it misses. And at the end of uh, at the end of Morpeko's turn, uh, its trait Hunger Switch activates, and it becomes it goes into Hangry Mode, which I don't have a way to quickly. Oh, that's what it's called. Do that, so I'm just going to reverse it. Uh, but you, Uno reverse card. You could, you could show the the, the uh, looks real quick. Yeah, hang on. I'm gonna show shiny. This is shiny angry Morpeko. Mm. Is there a mm. difference? Uh, the the gray is darker on the reg. I don't know. <laughs> they, they phoned it in on that one. That one they phoned it in on. The regular Morpeko, I like it. Su it's subtle enough to like work, but all right. You know what? Here I know. You can always change it. True. I know what to, I know what to do here. I'm just gonna give it. Uh, you have creative control now. I'm just gonna give it green to mean it's angry, I guess. Shory. All right. Well, Shory is not happy about that. But uh, what Shory is gonna do is Shory is actually going to start revving up and Shory is going to move over here uh, to do measuring measuring over here to Sir Davington <laughs> you're going to call it that if you catch it aren't you I, if I say it enough I might be forced to <laughs> stop <laughs> then <laughs> It's uh, not gonna hold up once it evolves. Uh, if, if you if you want to attack me again, uh, he will. But he is going to go for a uh, he is going to go for a bite attack. All right. Uh, that is a seventeen to hit physical. Uh, just hits. All right. That does. That does 18 damage because the hunger switch trait does something extra here. At the end of each of his turns, Mor huh? Yeah, go on, go on. Morpeko is always electric dark type. In full belly mode, uh, Aura Wheel is an electric type move. In hangry mode, it's a dark type move. In addition, when in full belly mode, Morpeko uh, 
does an additional stab die with electric type attacks, and it's the same way with dark types in hangry mode. Ooh, neat. Ooh, big damage. So I made it actually a good ability. All right. All right. <laughs> so yeah, that's 18 damage there. What are you doing All right. now? All right, while he's over here, Shori is just spinning and spinning and spinning, and you notice as the, his core starts to glow, as suddenly fire starts lancing out as he uses fiery dance. And it's going to hit all three of our foes. Oh. Super effective least, against two of them. Or at least it's going to try. 22. That'll yeah, that's going to hit all of them. So you all get right. to add an extra die against two of them. Yep. So an extra D10. Oops, that, nope, not that. Woo! Ooh. Ooh. So tw 20 on one, 30 on the others. All right, so yeah. Shory lets out a wave of fire as their glorious return debut has begun. All right, that's a real big hit on the Ponyard. <laughs> and, uh, that means I know what I'm going to do on my next turn. All right. Alucard! Sweet! It's going to fly. Oh, he's going to basically just fly over to the... Uh, uh, uh. Uh, to the, uh, uh um, uh, nuts leaf. To the nuts leaf. and basically, hey, uh, you might get this re uh, reference, Mino. I'm a drink, you know. Yep. Ah, oh, dang it. No, you're not. You're not. <laughs> Never mind. Silly bat. Nuts have no water. <laughs> oh, Jero, I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I'm taking a break next session. <laughs> Yep. Oh. <laughs> I mean, pa next session looks like it's going to be a mostly RP. Ponyard uh, is not a fan of Shori just coming up and doing that shit to it. So it is going to do a slash. That's a 24 to hit. Yeah, that'll hit. Jeez. All right. You take 15 damage. No, the Dimaggios. They're against me. And now the Nuzleaf. Uh, tackle, 12 to hit Alucard, physical. Jeez, why are you doing this to Nuzleaf? 12 I mean, to hit physical? He didn't do yeah. anything. Miss. Okay, moving on with life. Amy! <laughs> All right, Nobody so cares about forward. the Nuzleaf! Even I don't care about the Nuzleaf! <laughs> Morpeko might be yeah. angry, but Amy if is always shiny, happy. Anyway. Amy is always happy, and so seeing her new playmate, she's going to run in, and she's going to do a pirouette and spin with her hammer and hit with play rough, or at least try to. 13 probably misses. Uh, that does miss. Okay. <laughs> Morpeko is like, what the fuck did you just try to do to me? Uh... And that's going to realize that Amy would resist it because dark. Uh, does steel also steel does not also resist dark? Got to keep remember. No. I got to remember that. Nope. What's uh, the type chart it for? It'll t it'll t it'll take it anyway. It's going to go for an aura wheel on uh, on Amy. Uh, it crits. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Uh, let's see. Boop boop boop, and then. Just throw another, uh, throw this in again. <laughs> okay, uh, and now, cutting these in half. Uh, Amy takes 37 damage. Jeez. It actually did knock her out of triple digits. Okay. Get the thing. Apparently, it can hit hard. And then, if it eh, crits, it's not, anything hits hard. It's not angry anyway anymore. Shory. She will. She will <sighs> use her. She will use her reaction to charm the Morpeko as it comes out of its angry state. Oh no! Oh, look what you did. So when you said it's a hefty hit on the pawn yard, how's it looking? Uh, barely above half. In that case, <laughs> I cannot do the thing I did before because that would also hurt my allies. 
So why don't we instead do 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 Let's see, the dark tides, so that wouldn't work. You know what? Yeah. Sh Shori is going to... Uh, it's, it's still spinning, but as it's spinning, you notice one edge of it start to pick up. And, all, and it almost seems to sort of desync with its spinning as it almost as it starts to make a strange sound before it suddenly speeds it up once more and it lets out a high pitched whine as it uses Confuse Ray on the pawn yard. Oh no. Confuzzled. Fuzzled. Alucard. Level one, other one. Oh, come on! <laughs> I... I don't know what's happening. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, Alucard's to hit bonus is really bad for current standards. But he's... Standards. He rolled a three! <laughs> Ponyard. Well, can make excuses for. Ponyard. Does not punch itself in the face. Curses. As I'm it... Gonna, I'm gonna say this. I'm not expecting to stick around soon the stream is over. <laughs> He's going to go in for a slash again. That's going to miss, because that's a 10. Nuzleaf. All right, Amy. <laughs> All right. Uh, play rough again. What it's worth, Gerald, it can't hit you either. <laughs> Neither can I. Wow. All right. Uh... More Peko. Uh, let me double check this thing. Does it break charm if I miss? <laughs> uh, mm, I'd say only if you do damage. Okay. So, uh, it cannot attack you, so it's going to turn and fire off a thunder shock at Shori. Ooh. That is a 12 to hit special. Nope. <laughs> Three okay. misses in a row. Great round. Next you four. Yep. Shory. I succeed to know what I do. Oh. And hang on. Whoops. Ignore that. <laughs> there we go. D45. Interesting. <laughs> okay. It is still charmed. Okay. Shory. Shory is going to shift over here. And is going to use Fiery Dance again. It will hit more Peko and Pawnyard. All right. Uh, I more Peko isn't looking like dangerously low or anything, right? Nah. It's only been hit once. I missed both my play roughs. All right. Fiery Dance. A check, a check, a check, a check, a check, a whoosh. Yeah, that'll hit. 23. So Pawnyard is like at a quarter now. Alright, he should be all set for catching next turn. Yeah, Ponyard is very much in uh, that low health now. Excellent. Uh, and Morpeko is also below half. Okay. Oh, so you can go for it now. Alakar. <laughs> Alakar. Oh, God. What? No, no yeah, yeah. There you Thank go. God. There we go! And you get to add another dice for poison damage. Uh, what do I roll for poison damage? A D8? Uh, D6. you just, yeah, another D6. Cause it's Cause super effective. Yeah. All right. Okay, so it's All right. Ponyard. Oh, I, I need, hang on to see if it got rid of the confusion entirely. It did not. All right, does it hit itself? It does not. <laughs> Slash. Uh, that's a oh. nine. That's a nineteen to hit Shory. Uh, it's physical. Yes. Yes. All right. You take thirteen damage. Okay. And it is still confused for one more turn. Nuzleaf. Amy. <laughs> really? Got a <Okay>. nine. 
All right. If it helps, I'm... Gerald. Your curse seems to pre to pass on to those you're fighting too. Yeah. <laughs> and and your teammates. I I I, I would prefer. When... I don't know how to feel about it, honestly. <laughs> Travis is going to dig into his bag, and seeing as this is a quick electric type, he's going to pull out a fastball. All right. And he's going to try to catch the Morpeko. All right. That is a D100 roll. All right. Been a long time since I caught something new. Let's see. 72. Uh... Yep, that is enough. You catch the Morpeko. Hey. Welcome, to the, welcome to the team, Nougat. Nougat, <laughs> I love it. I love it. Okay, love okay, it. perfect, perfect. That made, that made, me, feel so, that made me feel better. I like and, Nougat. and now Kong can go into the PC for a while because he makes fights too easy. <laughs> All right. Now, now, I just, now I just want us to, to, to just one to just one day just let out freaking Lapis Nougat and whatever freaking... Uh, uh, Sir Dabbington? <laughs> Sir Dabbington, apparently. If we have the blaming at that. Please, please don't. <laughs> but all right. So that's that's gone. All right. You have successfully caught Nougat. I will put it in your team when we're done here. Okay. Shuri! Okay. Uh, by the way, I caught Dosh in the love ball, right? Uh. I believe you did say you did, I think. Okay, yeah. I'm just making sure. I Wait. Ball, yeah, so. I, re I remember you saying you did love ball. I love ball. <laughs> okay, sorry, I was going through the item bag, making sure. Okay. So I'll need to get rid of that, and I believe uh, heavy isn't one that gives a bonus. It's just easier to catch things. Correct. Uh, right. Also, also maybe uh, maybe mark on Dosh's sheet that it's in a it's in a love ball. Yeah, and, I was gonna and, do and, that. That's why I was making sure. Yeah, yeah. All right, but for this then, uh, I'm just uh, I think I'm just gonna use a great ball. All right. All right. It's been a while since I've done this, so it is a D100. Correct. Alright. Oh, oh, turn order go away so I can do this. 58. Yep, that is going to be enough. As Yay. you successfully catch the the Ponyard, who is very weak and very confused. <laughs> I'm not going to name him Sir Dabbington. Good. <laughs> do you know what you're going to name it? Uh, not yet. Okay. Uh, Alucard over with the Nuzleaf. Does that hit? Yeah. Yeah, that hits. You get to add another dice because it's super effective. So another D6. All right. All right. Nuzleaf. Oh, it actually hits. 25 to hit for 7 damage! I think I know what I want to name him. Alright, it's your oh. turn. I definitely think I know what I want to name him. What, what? are you naming him? Artorius. Arto Ooh, I like Ar it. Artorius? That's yes, Dark Souls because boss. he's blue. Fair. I'm, surprised he didn't get I'm kind of surprised he didn't go for a chest thing since that's the whole motif of him, but... Yeah. All right. Uh, a good chest term or a chest name. Uh. Oh, right. Yeah, I think you're... apparently this one fits better. Uh. We'll just go for. Low that's damage another hit. hit. Uh. That, yeah, that still hits. I don't know why that's six four though. It's you weird. get to add another dice. Yeah, another six. Well, no, it's an OD8 in this case. Oh, my bad. For, for air cutter. I'll take the four. The four was higher. I'll take that. Don't need to prolong this. Yeah. He's not He's not going to catch it. Nuzleaf! I think that's a miss. It's a 12 to hit. Physical. Physical. Yeah, that's it. All right. You're, all right. Kill it, please. Uh, 16. 
Yep, that hits. Get that another dice. Another D8. Okay, it's dead. It runs away. <laughs> cool. Whew. All right. I was looking for an electric type, so that's good timing. And now, this, and now funny and enough, is, now we each got a shiny. Yeah, and this is steel and dark, both of which I wasn't going to have for a while. All right. You know, a water gym is up in the future, and Paul was my only ace for that, so it's nice to have something else. Uh, all right. Hey, Rhino, what are you putting in the PC? <laughs> Oh, fuck. Uh, well, honestly, I was probably going to shift once we went back into town and I figured out if we got any levels from this. Uh, especially because, considering we're about to go on a tour of a certain place, I was going to have to shift some stuff anyway. That's fair. So I wasn't sure if that was just going to be, uh, like, post-session or not. Un unfortunately for you, it does not become a, a Bisharp until level 52. I made it I, ma I made it a bit more reasonable. It doesn't evolve until... Wow. I made it more reasonable. I made it more reasonable. No, no, no. I, I, I'm hearing you say that. I'm shocked it's just, it's that way in the main game. That's though. because it, it originally it didn't have a third stage. Yeah. I know, it, was, it was mainly a two-stage evolution. Though I will I say 52 for a two-stage is a bit much. Yeah. 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 Anything that's not a pseudo with an Evo in the 50s is a lot. All right. Uh, there we go. You guys should have access to your newly acquired Pokemon sheets. I hope I spelled Artorius right. I'll have to look it up, but I think you did. Ooh, only level four. I'm going to have to grind you up, buddy. Yeah. You can take it. Uh, fun, fun fact, I literally didn't even bother giving Nuzleaf. I knew you guys weren't going to catch Nuzleaf. I literally just put tackle on him, and I was like, this is all he's going to use. He's literally just here to make it three. <laughs> Oh. All right. Small, small correction, Max. Okay. It is I A S. Artorias. Artorias. Whose whose name half the time in my head I say I say like the rapper Notorious. <laughs> the Artorias B I G. That is just he comes out. He's like Artorias. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I did not waste that fastball. That was good. It did have a speed above ten. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Electric tight goes zoom. All right. This thing is like four to five levels lower than what we need right now. So you gonna have to spend some time with it. Yeah, but again, uh, like, yeah, but level grinding is always a thing and also just keep it in the party. Also, yep. unfortunately, it's, it's not going to get that legendary experience we just got. Look, not everything gets legendary experience. <laughs> All right. Let hey, me... Dodge, you pick up anything? You pickpocket anything for the legendary temple? Uh, yes, he did. Uh, Evolve with okay. king. Not, not, not quite enough. All right, give me. I'm, ju I'm just doing this real quick just to make sure I have everything. Uh, All right. Like everything is Get, getting oh. the black belt off Kong because he's not going to be using it where he is. Yeah. Honestly, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to try and not be annoyed about the dodge thing. I'm probably just going to question it like at the end of sessions. That's fair. Okay. Uh, dosh. Uh, dosh is like, look, I found this old coin. <laughs> it's a relic. Uh, oh, sorry, Ka sorry, Kong. After you just demolished an Ente, <laughs> I think you deserve a rest. Go ahead oh. and you know you know what, Rano. Go ahead and roll for me one d six. All right, lucky. that is five hundred dollars. Right. I'll I'll add it for you. Boop. Okay, thank and, you. Indy and Philip Yep. So that happened on our way back to town from the ruin. Yep. All right. Well, since 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 the fight technically didn't use up any time. <laughs> all right. I guess we'll just turn in for the day and then head back to Idatana tomorrow. Yeah. Right. Uh, have to decide on teams and such. All right. And uh, Professor Ecker is going to say, "I think I'm going to stay around here for a while." seems like there are dark types frolicking in this area, and I want to see what that's about. Oh, uh, yeah. That is a bit odd, because the dark type gym isn't even nearby. It could easily just be an outbreak. Something simple, but at the very least, it gives me a chance to study dark types. Yeah. I suppose that so. works. I'll keep in touch with you if I find out anything about any other possible relics. All right, just try and stay safe. No more walking into legendary territory on your own. 
well, I'll be fine. Kaida will be staying with me. And Kaida just sighs. <laughs> She's like, I, I was volunteered, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> She's just like, these three get to fight the legendary beast, and I have to babysit my uncle. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> oh, that's my uncle. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. So you all turn in at the Pokemon Center, and I assume the next day you're heading back to Idahana. Yep. Yeah, let's get taxi. that taxi. <sighs> all right. I wonder, I wonder if there'll taxi, be a taxi. Big... Amy waves hammer threateningly. <laughs> I, wonder, I wonder if there'll be a big crowd. I wonder if people are interested in this sort of thing on a regular basis. I have no idea. I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a manufacturing a lot, area. It wouldn't would be a too lot, interesting. A lot of people would be staying in town for the contest in a couple of days, so I guess people would kill time however they could. Yeah, it's going to be interesting if I consider this training. <laughs> you right. to carry Zelia with you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm probably not out of the Pokeball, but she is go This this has to deal with her, so she deserves to be around for it. All right. Get the music back. I figure Max is... I don't know how much longer we're going, so that's why I hadn't said what I'm swapping out yet. Yeah, we're, I, we're, I, we're probably not going to go too much longer. Uh, I'm just... Trying to... Trying, I'm trying I, to... I like their funky lobby music. This, this is this, this is Idatana's music, so... We have 15 like, minutes on time, but I assume Max will just stop us before we get to a point of no return. Yeah, yeah, basically. He's got to set us up for that nice cliffhanger. Yep. Uh, so you all, so you all arrive back in Idatana City uh, before too long, and I assume you go to take the Catesby Technologies tour. Yep. Aiden, Aiden. Unlike whenever we were wandering freely into legendary temples and such, Aiden does not really have a smile on his face. All right. He is in investigation mode. He is suspicious. All right. Uh, you enter. Uh, do you guys care about the actual tour itself, or are you just waiting for the opportunity to speak to someone? Well, I mean, uh, see, like, what their public face is. You know, just see... Like, I'll, I'll be honest, you, you say I'm looking for the opportunity to speak with someone I don't fuck, want to know what the fuck I would say to them Hey, are you secretly doing experiments? I mean like, how, how do you approach something like this? Oh, I mean, like, hey, if they things? say yes, then do, do people well, I'll be honest the what I, what, Only vague thing I had in mind is going on the tour Seeing a mysterious unguarded door And slipping away <laughs> do, do, do people who go on the tour get complimentary gift bags? Yeah, do we uh, get a Pokeball? They, they, they get some, they get some, they, there are some, like, some, like, free samples of Pokeballs that you get, yeah. Pigeon. Nice. Alright. Right, we'll get some Mystery Ball. Who knows what it actually is? We painted it white and put a question mark on it. <laughs> Alright. Don't be confused with the Premier Ball. <laughs> Alright. Uh, you're all, ha you're, so you're all, you're all going along the tour. There's a few other people here. Some, it, it, it looks like, like a couple of them are just some new trainers that are like, oh, some uh, free Pokeballs, cool. And then there are some people who like actually seem interested in the process behind making them. Yeah, I'll, I'll get a vague interest in that. All right. Uh, they kind of bring you along. They, they show you a couple floors. They show you uh, an area where so, sort of like a lab area where people are working on computers as they are... Uh, kind of d d uh, f developing specifications for uh, how to improve pokeballs there is a there's 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 an area where they're act they're active the regular pokeballs are actively being assembled uh a more specialized pokeballs are usually done by hand is it bad i'm hoping there's like a history of the pokeball area it's like at this time they were made of wood <laughs> at this time they were made of apricots <laughs> there is there is something like that like at one point while you're walking there's like that's like one of those things on a museum where it's like a whole wall that's just like showing progress and there's like little placards expl explaining stuff. It's where, just it, like from, from monkey to man, now it's just from rock to Pokeball. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> as far back as we could possibly trace them, humans would just keep Pokemon in cages. 
Ah, no. <laughs> at one point, at one point, they attempted to use uh, something called a leash. It didn't catch on. <laughs> it did catch on fire, though. <laughs> Very frequently. All right. Uh, you see a couple offices, and so you're you're like, are you like trying looking out for anything that might catch your eye, just in general, for regarding uh, Azalea? Yes. Okay, go ahead and roll perception for me. All right. I'm considering with the with him thing. And, uh, I'll say you can. I'll say you can help. You can help him. I want to say with advantage, but can... yeah, yeah. So he's yeah, gonna he's helping. he's rolling with advantage because you help him. All right. So perception with advantage, Aiden. Yep. I just had to scroll up to his sheet to open it. Av Advent a lot more sheets Ad that I'm used to scrolling. Advent Tigers, come on. Advent Tigers. Oh my god. Well, passive is 18. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, I'm glad I have that to fall back on. <laughs> how's it passive 18? I have a plus 8. Oh. Because he, he, he has proficiency in it and plus 4 in wisdom. Something like that. But yeah, all right. So as you're heading all around, uh, there you do see there are a couple of rooms that like they they don't bring you into. They say like, oh, that's a uh, that, that that's that's like that's the office. Uh, that's that that's where we have some machinery. It's too dangerous to go into. That's storage, etc. Yeah, uh, keep an eye out for like any suspicious doors, any like unmarked labs. Uh, I know that's not going to be exactly out in the open, but look, I'm, I'm working from nothing here. <laughs> you do not see anything of the sort uh, as you're going along. You don't really, see, you don't see anything that really strikes you as being suspicious. All right. Hmm. So, well, fuck. <laughs> and I was hoping this tour would give me something to start with. Uh, do you have Azalea with you? Like yeah. In, like, like in your party? Yeah, I do. Okay. I definitely have her with me during this whole thing. Okay. But she's, but she's in her ball, I would assume. Yeah, I figured that. Yeah, for safety. Because I don't know if they're going to do some crazy shit. And then at the end of the tour, uh... They are going to hand out some, uh, some, uh, basically gift bags or free samples. So, uh, you all get, uh, two Pokeballs and I'm going to, and every, 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 everybody roll a G20. <laughs> Ooh, that's Uh, there we go. If we get the 20, I swear to God. Tim, roll a d20. Okay. Uh, he ruined it. I'm kidding. All right. Uh, Cade, you receive a heal ball. Pokemon caught in this ball instantly have their HP and PP restored to maximum upon being caught and when taking a short rest. Oh, okay. Aiden, you receive a Quick Ball. The base catch rate increases by 50% if used on the user's first turn in initiative. And Travis, you receive- It's the Hail Mary Ball. Yeah. And Travis, you receive a Friend Ball. Pokemon caught in this ball gain experience slightly faster. Oh. <laughs> wow. Low numbers can be good sometimes. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just choosing from a list, so table <laughs> list table whatever all right well yeah i wasn't correcting you i was just all right is that it was a heal ball kill double checking yes okay so go ahead and add the and you also got two pokeballs so okay let's go ahead and add those things to your inventory and then uh are you are you are you just gonna head out when the tour is dismissed I'll linger. Uh, all right, uh, you're, you 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 hang out for a little bit, and then eventually uh, the tour guide comes up and says, "Uh, can I help you with something?" 
I suppose I'm just curious. I've heard uh, bigger corporations like this sometimes dabble in other technologies. Is Kate's Me Technologies just Pokeballs, or do you do other things? I noticed I've seen your sponsors in a couple of contests that I've been in. To my knowledge, we only focus on Pokeballs, at least at the time, as of now. Huh. And, and okay. even at the time, I can help it on the... You, you, so this, if you, you, you say that at the you said at the time. Does that mean that you, that Kimi Technology used to focus on something besides Pokemon at one point? I don't know the full details, but a well, li uh, little while ago, Kimi Technologies had a wider array of things that it uh, took part in, and then when the new CEO took over, it seems like things sort of got reworked into being more focused on just Pokeballs. Fair enough. Was it just a retirement then? It's... It's a bit of a story. I I don't know all the details behind it. I wouldn't want to get anything wrong. Oh. Alright, I guess it's not... It's not one of those tour, uh, tour approved things then? Not really, no. It's fair enough. All right, well, thank you again for the tour. It was quite informative. You're very welcome. Have a good day. I guess Aiden will walk outside and kind of grumble. All right. The, uh, the, that seemed like we waited for fuck all. <laughs> uh, well, did you, do, uh, do, you, uh, do you check your phone? Yeah, sure, I guess. You have a text from an unknown number. What? How'd that happen? You have a message that simply says, back of the building at 2 a.m., it'll be open. Oh. 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 Well, don't plan on getting sleep tonight. Oh, boy. That or go to sleep early. <laughs> <laughs> That's well, we you... might have a lead after all, although I'm curious how they looks over phone, how they got into my phone it's a text message <laughs> look i know well, but you still need to know their number <laughs> okay like, how would they know his, i was like who hacked his... who hacked my phone <laughs> how would they know his number and how do they know that he knows he was here oh that he knows something well i guess that's that yeah, Right. Not wrong with that sound there. Do you do you do you do anything else with the the phone? <laughs> I mean, I'm look I'm looking it over to see if there's like a bug on it or anything. Uh, roll investigation. You don't see anything off about it. It seems it seems the same as it's always been. Eh, honestly, I'm I'm wondering if that perception was me missing whatever thing there was, but all right. Hmm. Well, at least we got something. Seems so. Guess we just wait now. I don't know. Do you think? Do you guys think I could have done anything different on this? Considering how big of a company it is, and they, they do have actually a very positive public face, I didn't exactly want to just charge in and go accusing. Not without a lot of risk. That's what I figured. Can't exactly go wander over to the local officer, Jenny, and ask if there's any open cases about it either. Well, I was hoping to leave these days behind us, but I guess we're sneaking in tonight. Yeah. Oh, right. right. I, get, I guess you've kind of done this before. This is eerily similar to the time I broke into my own family's facility. Well, if, if you're uncomfortable, you don't have to come. No, no, this is important, and you guys might need backup in case something goes wrong. We don't know who sent that message. Alright, if you're sure. I'm fine. I'm ready when you guys are. 
All right. Okay. You, you, yeah. Are you going to, uh, he- so that night, are you going to head over? Hell yeah. Yeah, do we get some breath and everything? Yeah. I, I, I need good oh. music for this shit. Hang on. So, I mean, that was I working. Like, I like your smooth jazz infiltration. <laughs> I pretty much want the music that would work, honestly. Why are all those people snapping? <laughs> as long as they don't approach us, we're fine. Go, 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 go. Hang on. Is this better? <laughs> well, I think it's a, use that, it's a bit more tense. Yeah, I guess. All right. You head around to the back of the building. There is, there's pretty much nobody out at this time. At least around here. I thought the teleporters. <laughs> so you head around to the back of the building. Yep. I think Aiden actually has Azalea out at this point. All right. You see a door that any any other time you would have just seen that and been like, oh, that's just an employee entrance sort of thing. Uh, it also has like a little card rear next to it, presumably you know, to scan your employee cards. As you get close, you hear a clicking sound. Aiden's gonna go ahead and try the door. It opens. All right, Aiden's gonna go in. All right. Okay. <laughs> what, what, what I, do you oh, do? I'm lawful. I won't steal from a vending machine. <laughs> Look, it said it was going to be open. I didn't break in. I went through a door. <laughs> All right. Move you over here, then. What do you expect me to do? Go like, okay, No, I just find it locked. funny. All right. I, I was I'm All right, let's leave. Come on. I don't know. We got a plan or something. All right, you head on inside. The plan is to stick together. (laughs) All right, you head on inside. And you're here. Oh, okay. I look at that mysterious boxy camera. Uh, It is a security camera attached to the wall. Uh, Normally, security cameras will, like, just face one direction. They might, like, kind of do a pan. This one is pointed directly at you. Is it recording? Is there a red light on it? Yes. I take a few steps forward and see if it follows me. It kind of follows you. It seems like it's trying to keep an eye on the whole group. But it is actively reacting to your movements. That's not good. That's either not good or that's our mysterious uh, benefactor. Do you think someone on the inside is watching us and they know they're trying to help us? Well, if they can get into the cameras like that, maybe they can saw give me signal? access my phone at one point. And maybe we had well, to head to them. Not a whole lot we can do. We just have to trust that we're doing the right thing here. Although, if yeah. we're doing the wrong thing, we're going to get banned from the league. Wait, we are? If not arrested entirely. That's a rhino thing. Wait, we are? <laughs> you're doing... If you're doing... So, I mean, you you always have the excuse that the door was unlocked. But, like, just in just in general, yeah, if you, if you do some illegal shit, then the, the league will probably ban you. They ban those guys just for hiding their badges. <laughs> they were assholes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm and I'm a on. protagonist! Right, come on, let's, come on, let's move. See, at this point, I'm hoping we have enough good cred to actually, you know, have a benefit of a doubt here. Oh. All right. Uh, yeah, let's, let's just try and stay quiet. Maybe we'll find something we can use or a clue as to where to go. Well, we, well, we there's, a, there's a lot of supplies back here. Probably Pokeballs. Yeah. Let's try to not loot the place. I'm not touching anything. Good. Let's just let's just see if we can find some clue as to what's wrong, uh, as to what happened to Azalea. Try and help oh, her, and let's get out. There's a door here. Yep. You approach it. It seems to be a. It seems to be a locked, almost metal shutter of a sort. I'm thinking. I don't see a way to open it. Do you guys? Mm. Well. Not exactly a lockpicking type myself. 
Oh, no, Alright, uh... Travis is gonna bring out Titan and see if he can get it <laughs> <open>. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, whoa. Maybe, maybe, maybe we have... we see about... Call that plan... G. <laughs> I wasn't gonna have him break it, I was just gonna see if he could lift it. It's locked. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Well, it's hey, not like thieves a... tools exist in the setting. I know, but I just mean like it's it's it, it's locked. Left so key is thieves tools. It's it's locked. So if you were going to uh, if you were going to like force it up, you would break the lock. Uh, Travis is going to look around and see if maybe they kept a hidden spare key around. Right. Aiden's gonna look around to see if there's like a vent or something. Mogus. All right, Cade. What are you gonna do? Kate is going to try to look around and see if there's anything, like, if he finds anything, like, out of place. Like, because, I mean, yeah, there's a, there, yeah, there's a lot of, of stuff here, but the fact that they wanted, that whoever would send uh, Aiden and Mr. wants to be here specifically, maybe there's something here that could give us some sort of clue. All right. Uh, so are you, are you, like, wandering around and looking into things, or are you just standing there and looking? I think we're wandering. Okay. Everybody go ahead and roll either perception or investigation, your choice. 23. 28. <laughs> uh, why do I I'm on the case. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to let you re-roll that because the game has been very unfair to you today. <laughs> okay, that's okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, so, like at some point you just got to be like, "All right, no. No." <laughs> You weren't, also, gonna, you weren't gonna beat Rhino's 28, but just to give you- You're all looking for different things, so. Yeah. Also, um, Max, I need to, do, do, to double check the stats for, for my character, because I, I know I did put the, uh, stuff for that, but I kind of feel like I'm lowering everyone else on that, but don't- Uh, let me, let me, let me check something. Uh. Because I know I just did stuff freaking, um, after we upgraded stuff, but I'm not sure- Can we do it later? Uh, we're already over time uh, and I have to leave soon. Okay, uh, I will, I, I will help you out with that when we're, when we're done here. Yeah, yeah. Not, not, I bet more later. I didn't mean so right now. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. Uh, as you all uh, take a look around, uh, uh, you all, you kind of, I assume, do you like look through the boxes at all? Uh, Travis would be looking under stuff. He doesn't want to force anything open. He doesn't have to. There are some boxes that are already open. I guess he would look, but he doubts he would find a key in there. All right. For the most part, you find what seems to be uh, kind of scrap metal, various pieces of uh, technology, very old technology, like like those big box computers, stuff like that. Uh, as you're all looking around, uh, first off, Travis, you do eventually uh, find a key that is kind of, kind of just... It is in one of the boxes that just and just fell down to the bottom. Hopefully, this is what we need. Uh, Cade, uh, you are looking around to see if there's anything out of place. Yeah, like, like, like yeah, like besides, like you know, obviously, like there's gonna be like the equipment here for, uh, uh, for the, obviously for some like for Pokemon making, like when we learned from the uh, from the tour and stuff, because. Well, again, not the, our main thing. Okay, was well, someone paying attention to all that, but also just looking out to see if there's anything like, again, that like, would be out of place here, like documents for something that that that, that would have to do with making Pokemon be more like 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 again like more re uh, different kinds of research or like so, again something that would be out of place. All right, uh, Cade, you looking around eventually, you find. All right, give me just a second. Uh, you find uh, a newspaper uh, that seems to have been just kind of tossed here at some point. And what what I find that what what does it read? Uh. You see, it's mostly faded, but you see, uh, very conveniently at the front as, like, the main story. Uh. Catesby Technologies CEO, Rob Catesby, found dead in car accident. What? 
And from reading a bit more of the text, you essentially gather that uh, with his death, uh, the company was passed to his two sons. Uh, as soon, like, as soon as I read that, I can imagine seeing like all stuff we've been listening to with the Q, uh, uh, Q, me just think, Q, K, just thinking, I have a bad feeling about this. Aiden, you are typing something. <laughs> Okay, uh, anyway. Uh, Aiden, you were looking for, like, a vent or something, right? Looking for a way to go onward. Uh, Travis found a key, so what you find instead with that nat 20 of yours is you notice, uh, as you're searching, one of the crates kind of over here, this one, is, like, open just enough that you're able to take, get a look inside. And what you see is, like, a mess of computers and wires. Almost like... Almost like... Uh, that almost look like they're beyond the technology of even today. Do you want to try to pry the thing open any further yeah. right now? All right. That's, that's weird, then, because it's, like, it's shoved aside like scrap, and it's tangled to hell, but it's advanced. All right. Uh, I'm going to say you're you're able to get it open given a given time. Uh, there are various computers, some small devices. It almost seems like, like, stuff you could only describe as, like, scanners and things like that. It's all it, like it's almost like gen generic high tech stuff, uh, and amongst it all, you find a folder. It's an actual like Manila folder. Yes. Okay, he's gonna take that and be like, "Well, you don't seem like you belong here." Uh, on the front is written. Uh, just seeming to title it. Project Ketsuban. That word means nothing to me. Opens. <laughs> uh, you open the folder, and there are no papers inside. Well. I, like, flip it inside out, look it over. Huh. Maybe. Again, again there's not a cat that I don't, I don't see the thing. Maybe we can, maybe some sort, uh, we can, maybe some sort of, uh, 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 we can, maybe, maybe it had like an SUV or something in there that had the things for that project. Well, we can ask our mysterious host once we find them. I found the key. I can add, um, just to like be able to have like, Max, would, would the camera still be, uh, 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 we can, uh, 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 you can't so you can't really see it from here, but you see like the light blinking enough, you know it's still pointed at you. Okay, then never mind. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna remember. I'm just gonna, gonna keep in mind to, to 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 look up the incident with the CEO because we, because of it being all faded. All right. You think it, you think it might be foul play? I'm hoping I'm hoping not, but the fact that this was just here thrown away for nothing. Uh, right. I don't know. I don't know. I call, call it a bad feeling. Travis is going to find the lock to the gate and try to see if the key will fit. Uh, it does fit, and you are able to open the lock. Uh, Alright, Aiden, help me get this thing open. Sure. Alright. Together, you raise the, the shutter. Raise me up. I hope this place doesn't have guards. I imagine it does. And beyond, just looking into the next room, you can just see dust particles floating in the air. No wow, one has been here in a very long time. This room has completely <laughs> been closed off from anybody else. <coughs> yeah, how strange is hearing this was just like the back area? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna more say what su right. More supplies, I see a storage crate. Is 
it just, wait, is it just the one crate in this room? That's weird. Well then. Just one crate? Yeah. You're uh, right. on, as you look around, again. you realize this is a very large room. This Why is this room so big? Why is there just one random crate here? Oh wait, there's office chairs over here. Oh yeah, I think I see them. Yeah, I'm gonna go there, look over here. There's computers over here. Oh. Again, I've Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> While you all inspecting, I'm okay. Okay, he's gonna so like he's still looking around the best he can from where he is, but he's gonna keep an eye on the door just in case. Like the like the where you, where you guys came in from. Yeah, like the shutter door. Okay. You're better with tech stuff. You go over here. I'm gonna look at the box. Does so, Travis know what this weird machine in the middle is? I think it's called. A water cooler. Uh, you do not know what it does. Or is. I'm just fixing some of the walls to make the lighting oh, more consistent. There's also a vault back here. A safe. Oh, what? Oh. A metal safe over here in the corner. Huh. What is this, like an abandoned office building part of it? Why would they have this much unused space? I don't know, but the, fact that, but the fact that, it, that this place has been abandoned like this, I don't know. It... Travis is going to try to turn on one of the PCs and see if this part of the building even gets power. Uh, There's another box over here. Make a, make a, are you sure about that? We want to make the fact uh, we're already risking enough as it, uh, as it is here. We're going to have to be careful that we're not being, you know, let them to a... I don't, we don't even know uh, who the thing benefactor is, so we could be just walking into some sort of trap. Okay, so first of all, it wasn't just the one box. Second of all, there's a big thing. There's a camera there, too. Yeah, there's that. What kind of technology? It's some sort of big vat. I think so. It looks all, It looks more like a... Like a somewhat raised platform. Were they, were they creating Pokemon? Uh, Travis, you person. you said you tried to turn on one of the computers. Yes. All right, you hit the button. It lights up, and it takes a while, but eventually it properly turns on, and the screen opens up to uh <laughs> to a login screen. <laughs> does it have? Uh, am I allowed to get in without a password, or does it need a password to get in? It, it is requiring you to enter a password. Dang. Can't get much further than that. Can I get anything on mine? Uh, so are you, are you, like, doing stuff with the machine there? Yeah, I'm gonna, like, take a look it over. I'm gonna try Again. pressing a button. Ah, uh, shit. Megan, uh, uh, Megan, um... Kate's gonna, Kate's gonna take the, the gut feeling he's going, and again, you um, he's gonna go over to the to the computer. All right. Again, there's actually no other way into this room. This that was the only door. Yeah, I'm hoping um, this camera over here is a clue, but I guess we'll find out. The camera, again, this camera is also just following you. <laughs> again, I again. For um, considering he's asking for a login. Like, like it asking for like, uh, like a password or, or, or like a login password de deal. It's a like username password deal. Uh, it's just a password. That again, doubtful, but just for at least one attempt to make it. I, uh, again, I try in the because I because I want to just read it the name of the uh, of the ex CEO. Incorrect password. Please try again. Oh, I know. Uh, Travis will type in Katsuban. On which one? Uh, the right PC. It loads for a moment and opens to the desktop. I'm in. Wait, what? Really? Hacker voice. Hacking. <laughs> Aiden's gonna... gonna come over to look over his shoulder. Travis is going to see if he can 
start browsing files and see if you can start getting anywhere. Tell us what they were doing, maybe a pa maybe the combination to that safe, just anything useful. All right. Uh, it seems like the computer has been mostly wiped. You do find one thing left over. Uh, it appears to be some sort of program uh, that is titled Key One. He'll initiate it. A window pops up on the screen. Uh, uh, it's it's like one of those like bla uh, black black windows. Prompt. Black yeah, it's like a command prop sort of thing. Uh, but you don't you can't input anything. It just says key one activated, awaiting key two. Uh, Cade. Hmm? It's asking for you to do something on the other computer. Um. Oh, considering he did that one, I try. Uh, uh, again, what was the password you you, you use for yours? Ketsuban. Katsu okay. Katsuban, the thing that Aiden saw in the folder. Yeah. Um, but uh, Kate tries the same thing on his on, uh, on, on his computer. Uh, that also opens it up. And you once again see a computer that is pretty much entirely wiped aside from a uh, a program titled Key2. Key two. Key was nothing. As, uh, as Kate activates the thing. All right. Two-party authentication for whatever this is. This is something deep. You, yeah, I'm not liking this. You click it, and now on both your both your screens it says keys activated. Awaiting master control. Master you think, control. You think that? Maybe. Is it? Does it seem to be doing anything? It does seem as though a green light has lit up on it. That was not lit All up right. before. But All right, something's thing? happening. There is a uh, kind of a lever that you can pull. Oh, well, all right then. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> we nope. come this far. What are we going to do? Leave and just pretend nothing happened. We're back where we started. We need to learn something. Just be careful, okay? Just be ready right. to run if something happens. <laughs> Noted. I pull the lever. It was not the wrong lever. Boy, I sure hope nothing's happening in that shadowy area we can't see just off screen. As once you pull it, uh, the screens that were over there turn on. And simple text begins to run across it, simply saying, loading. Oh, what did we do? Aiden's going to walk over. Preparing. Preparing what? Preparing chassis. What? Chassis? What? Chassis? What? Chassis is normally meant to stabilize something or contain it. We're not actually seeing anything moving, though. Uh, as you say that, this starts to glow. Ah, there we go. Authentication complete. All right. Beginning, Beginning formation. Somewhere. Beginning formation. beginning formation. Please stand back. Uh-oh. Uh. As electricity starts to course from this device. One more. There we go. Now I'm over 30 feet away. <laughs> and, I'm just gonna you guys. and I'm just gonna... As the area just seems to light up entirely... Ah, uh, covers right. What the? <laughs> As the two a.m. for this. <laughs> the screen, the screens flash. The panel or the platform 
continues to spark as the electricity coming off of it begins to form a humanoid shape. What the fuck? Uh, the sp- uh, you could barely see any Pokemon I know. You could barely see it, but on the with all the light, but on the screens behind it, there's like a a counter that's starting to go up from like one percent and is loading all the way up. Currently at about forty percent. What are our knowledge of teleportation? Uh, Pokemon can do it. <laughs> is that just a stupid game thing, essentially? Yeah, pretty much. Oh, okay then. Why the fuck are they in that sort of technology level where they have everything completely normal, but then also teleportation? That's stupid. Anyway, uh, do you guys do anything in particular as that's counting up? It's at fifty percent now. Travis uh, is going to watch the door. <laughs> Aiden is actually just watching intently, and he has one hand on a Pokeball. Okay, Kate is trying to see, like, trying to figure out, like, what the heck's going on. Like, maybe seeing, like, those two uh, uh, panels to the side say anything. Like, within the 50%. Uh, it seems that it's just giving the, the, the percentage as it goes up. As everything starts to continue, starts to, starts to continue. Starts to continue. Continues to spark. 70, 75, 80, 85. Almost done. 90, 95. Uh, uh, Just just in case for anything, Kate does get ready, like, get like a head on his, uh, um, to his Pokemon, just in case. 97. Okay, one bad feeling that I think might be it, and if it happens, I'm going to be angry. 98. 99. 100. Project Ketsuban complete. As everything goes dark for a moment. Oh, God. Uh. Seems as though... It's almost like whatever has just happened has drained the power of the entire building for a moment. Oh, that's not good. Oh boy, I hope they didn't notice that in the main building. After a moment, you can start to see again. Give me a moment. He's changing things. I'm giving you a vision back. There's a token. Boop. Boop. I have two theories. As you see on the pedestal, on the pedestal, on the on the the uh, the platform. Platform. Thank you. The platypus. A big. (laughs) A platform. Patty the platform. God damn it. Some sort of humanoid being has taken shape. Its body is unnaturally skinny, very black and covered in greenish marks. The head appears to almost be something entirely separate, resembling sort of like a mask. Oh God, is this a fucking puppet from FNAF? What the fuck? Oh god, it's the fucking puppet from FNAF. Oh no. As it steps off, as it begins to step off the platform. (laughs) I just got a fucking Windows security update of your virus scan has completed. I'm like, cool, good time. (laughs) What the fuck? Your virus scan has completed, uh, Max. Uh, 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 so Max, the fuck did we just get into? Wouldn't you like to know? It steps off the platform. Looks at the three of you. Hello? That was easier than I expected it to be. What? As he holds up his hand, which you notice the fingers are... Genuinely th- about as thin as spaghetti noodles and incredibly long. And in his grasp suddenly forms 
what seems to be a Pokeball. Please, Guys, I don't like this. Them. Me neither. Well, hold on. We ha It hasn't made any aggressive actions yet. Finally. Clearly speak. I... Oh. Finally, I have been given form. Who are you? What are you? I am Ketsuban. Yeah, I figured that answer was coming. <laughs> Out of character. <laughs> Is and that the answer to both questions, then? I do not know. But I know why I am here. And why is that? And as, as you say that, five more Pokeballs appear flo floating there. Uh, it's okay, guys. Maybe it's just a trading simulator. I don't know. I don't think this is training. I, that was out of character. <laughs> Guys, I'm freaking out a little bit. <laughs> to it's wield right. to wield the power of Pokemon for Catesby Technologies. No, it's bad. What does that mean? Why would Catesby need to wield it? They do not know. Only I do. And you cannot speak of this to anyone. Don't really know what we would tell them. We not really we don't understand what's happening. I don't Aiden, I don't think Travis, you... Travis is gonna start backing towards the door. Vegan uh oh, Vegan Kate back up and going Aiden, I don't think he means what, uh, uh, I don't think he means that we have a choice. Aiden, this thing isn't human or Pokemon. When that doesn't I, mean it can't be reasoned with. When I got in contact with you, I thought it would be harder to get you to activate me. You are too curious for your own good. We came here seeking answers. You have questions. I have the answers. All right. I have analyzed your teams. I know your strengths and your weaknesses. I know what you can do. Let's see if you can overcome that. All right. And as he says that, the shutter that you had come in through slams closed. I was afraid of that. Aiden is surprisingly not rattled by this. There has always been something missing from me. Perhaps now I can fill it. As he steps over, holding his strange white and green Pokeball, that is where we are going to end off. As you face down Ketsuban. Oh, the fuck! I, th I'll admit both my theories were wrong, although admittedly one of them was almost correct. Hang this on, is a lot, this is a lot crazier than a shrine dedicated to legendaries. Really? <laughs> well, After something like that. You know, you know what? You know what? Yeah, no, no. <laughs> well, I gotta go. Okay. Yeah. See. See. See it. <laughs> see it, Tim. All right. That was fun. See you guys. All right, see ya. See ya. All right, for the for the two of you who are still here, 
All right. That is where we're ending. In between sessions, I will go over the Pokemon, all the all the changes, all the levels and such that need to have happened. Uh, and, wow, this is... <laughs> the, the overlay is really messed up now that Tim's gone. <laughs> uh, and just, uh... You know what? Nah, if you think, if you find out about it, out about found out about it, that's on you. So, all right. Not a lot. <laughs> eh, don't worry about it. it okay. Well, we got <laughs> to swap out our teams and stuff too. Yeah, that's part. That's 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 why I'm making sure to end here for uh, so we can get that all figured out. This I will say very interesting. I will say, I am being completely honest. I did not expect you guys to just push buttons until this happened. <laughs> well, look, you. I, I thought Max? someone was trying. I thought someone was leading us a breadcrumb trail to follow. Yeah, but Max? like they were literally just go here, and then you walked in and pressed all the buttons before they said anything. Oh, well, they didn't say a damn word, so we were just like, "Well, let's just explore the room we're in." I was just looking at stuff, and the Tim was like, "I'm going to turn on the computer." <laughs> yeah. What's up, Gerald? Max? Yeah. I'm okay. Uh, uh, I'm okay with thinking uh, uh, with us uh, 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 stopping enemy things. I'm okay with us going uh, with us going thinking uh, uh, apparently ending up doing something going against even legendaries. But if we're heading into some creepy pasta type shit, I'm out. What? What are you talking about? This this guy doesn't look like a creepy pasta at all. He's totally normal. <laughs> Max, I don't do good when it comes to creepy, sh uh, uh, to creeping uh, uh, and horror I, stuff. I can assure you this: it is not going to go in the horror direction. It is just essentially what's happening here is just the slightly creepy is just the creepy prologue to it. Okay, I'm just giving you the thing right now because I am not going to go into this. If, uh, there's something I did not sign up for. It is not going to go into like creepy pasta territory. No. Okay. okay, thank you. It it is it, it it's going to like it's it it's starting off creepy because you have no idea what the fuck is happening. And that's basically yeah. it. <laughs> but don't get me wrong, you but don't get me wrong, you did that very well. Like, don't get me wrong. <laughs> like if you wanted me to if you wanted me to get freaked out, I am genuinely freaked out. But <laughs> but big but we can, uh, we can, if we're going that direction, I'm not gonna be uh we can, you're gonna lose me. You're you're good. We're not going in a creepy pasta direction. We're just going in a you don't know what's happening, so it's creepy direction. And then once you find out what's going on, it's less creepy and more. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> yeah. But there's that well played. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's. I think the internet is dead to me slightly, but also I I do think that I was just kind of in Aiden's head here, where he's like, it's a weird thing. Shit's weird in the Pokemon world all the time. So he's just like, all right, let's see what this is. It has not actively attacked us, so, I mean, and it could speak our language, so that means it's a chance of us being reasonable. You are being and challenged to a like, battle hey, instantly, so. I mean, it did say, hey, I have answers. <laughs> Raise this Pokeball, and he's just like, you know what? That, that's, that's, that, 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 that tracks in Pokemon world. <laughs> I will just say this. Uh, if you ever feel like it, go ahead and Google Ketsubon. I don't know if I want to. It's not like a creepypasta thing. I just oh! Need, it, oh! It just, oh. It, it just might kind of, uh, it just might kind of uh, give you sort of an idea what's going on here. It's some girl on Twitter. Help you look look down thing. a bit more. Creepypasta wiki. Look up oh. above that. <laughs> Ketchupon at Twitter. What? You don't see Ketchupon on Bulbapedia? Oh, that's the fourth one down. That's below Creepypasta. Okay, it's not on mine. Whatever. What? Oh. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm slightly concerned about because of what you guys were going on about in Lunar Server that one night, but all right. This is completely unrelated to that. Okay, good. Because this is just—I really I literally, just literally just had an idea of—I literally just had an idea of my own, and then Looter was like, "Hey, this thing happens," and I'm like, "Oh, <laughs> that that kind of is similar." Also, the token. Yeah. <laughs> he he watches you. Jeez. That is horrifying. <laughs> 
All right. Yeah, it's neutral. Yeah, but I'm a. Uh... I'm yeah, you definitely. Not where I thought this was going gonna, next. You never gonna tell Luna about this. You're gonna love this. <laughs> yeah, but oh. by the way, Max, out of out of genuine curiosity, was there anything I could have gotten to, from the damn tour? Uh, yes. <laughs> if, if if like if you had asked at any point, uh, to speak to the CEO or where the CEO was or what the CEO was doing, you could have then gone and talked to him. Why would I go? Uh... I don't that would, I, and saying anything else that. would be spo- saying anything else would be spoiler, but that would have led you to other stuff. Oh well, now I feel like I miss things, but I don't logically know why I would just say I need to speak to your manager. To be fair, yeah, <laughs> that would have been something we would logically try to do. If we were wary about this place to begin with, why would we immediately go, "Hey, take us to your leader"? That <laughs> I like that uh, way of saying it, but yeah, that 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 is fair. Uh. I had other things also planned for it, and I just didn't have time to implement them. So that's another another thing. So, oh really? Yeah, I had I had something else planned, and I didn't have time to implement it for this session. Whereas uh-huh. some something that basically would have like led you more clearly towards that. Uh-huh. That would would have led you more clearly towards meeting them. I mean, we could have just stopped before this if if you didn't have everything ready. I had this as a backup. So. All right, if you're sure. Yeah, I, 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 I'm fine with how the things are going. This would have just happened like later, but it's it still makes perfect sense for it to be happening now instead. Now works as well. well they are offering answers, I guess. Yep. Yeah, I don't, I don't want it to seem like disappointing like i i, I forgot I, I didn't have time to implement something and i didn't want that to seem like that that just meant you had nothing you could do yeah, yeah admittedly like even when i knew we were going in for the tour i didn't know what the hell to expect it's just like, i thought it was it seemed like they'd only give tours every once in a while so i was like ah so that means that they guard their secrets pretty closely so maybe we'll spot something and it's just i don't know yeah, I again, I, I didn't, I didn't have it fully, fully planned out in time because college. I got gotcha. you. So, all right. So yeah, we'll we'll, uh, we'll end off there. Sorry if it wasn't what you were expecting. I mean, it's it's still interesting. It is the the. How can I say this? It's only a couple steps in the middle that made me kind of trip up slightly. That's the, fair. The, us, like the the first part of the session with the with the temple stuff, all great, all great. And here, this mysterious shit we're doing now, it, it's interesting. It's great. They had no fucking clue what we were doing. Uh, it was the in between steps where it's like you go on the tour, nothing happens. I'm just like, uh, uh, okay, huh. yeah. I, 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 I literally just plot appeared on my phone. Yeah, I've been leading up to something that I then didn't have time to implement. Ah. Uh. So I, I tried to at least okay. like get you something out of it. Yeah, it was only that middle part there that was stumbling. Every, everything else was great. Okay, all right. Well, next time we'll see where this goes, and I'll have the thing properly implemented then. Hopefully. Oh, good. So it's not. It's, so we're not. Yeah, you're locked. not. You're not locked out. You're not locked out of it. It's just I didn't have it ready then. Okay. All right. That's, that's fine. Yeah. Yeah, you're still, you're still gonna, it's, it's still gonna happen. It just, won't, it, it'll just happen through a different way. All right. Okay. All right. That's gonna end this, and we'll see you next time. And oh God, that was all in recording. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> oh. She never said the stream was done. <laughs> Why did you let me go on? Because <laughs> it's interesting to hear your thoughts. Oh, okay. And. And hopefully next time, Jero, the dice will be with you. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, I, I Jero, hope so too, Jero. Jero, roll a d20 for me right now. God, hold up. <laughs> I'm gone. <laughs> <Yeah>. Well, <laughs> okay. Good night. <laughs> Good night.